I want to start with some fresh hate right off the right out the oven. <laughs> mm, that's the best kind. Right of Right out the oven. Mm. It's the best hate right there. Yeah, Before it, gets it cold. ain't even get, it ain't even get the brew or Con- nothing. Convection oven too. Hey, heat it up fast. The hate. <laughs> but but this isn't new hate, right? I want to hate on. I've always hated the the guys that just know how to skate well. <laughs> so there's a video floating around of Usher. In a in a skating skating uh, skate rink. Now, what about Usher? Made you think roller that this skating. guy can't skate really well? Yeah, but he's roller skating to his own music. Yeah, yeah. He's swag. roller skating backwards. <laughs> look, he got the U chain he's, on. He's winking on, at man. somebody's girl. Like, look, look, he's dancing around no. homie's girl. I don't even know that she's in a relationship. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, what do you do no, when Usher ass. comes to ro- roller skating by? You start dirty mac it immediately. Trip him. <laughs> you can't trip them niggas that can skate real good. They I catch can it. trip you. Yo, they catch it. Them niggas will roll and do a spin, catch it. That shit just dope. I Damn. used to be mad. Damn. I'm not even going to hold See, you. See, and that's why I date the hood chicks. I said, oh, y'all don't have no taste in women. No, I like women that don't like niggas that do this. <laughs> Yo, you, you don't even know your girl love a dancer. Here come Usher dancing, buying some roller skates. What, nah, what, dude. With a leather bucket hat on, just yeah, looking nah. dirty smooth. Back. Smooth dirty Mac. You immediately dirty back. It's a lot of dirty Mac. I can y'all know. Yeah. If, y'all know if y'all girl like dancers, like y'all know what type of guy your girl like, and we are gonna talk about ultimatum soon too. So it's fine. Uh, <laughs> what? What if the guy she picked was a damn nigga dancing in a room? <laughs> Fucking acrobat. Wait for three like weeks his, with, with, with his whole bo- body with the Bobby Brown. <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah. He can dance with his arms and his legs. That's, he, that's pressure. He can dance, but can he fight? That don't matter if you yeah, do. Dance. Why? Well, beat his ass. What nah, you he dance right about? out of that beat. Yeah, ass beating. Over a girl? Oh, yeah, bro. Not you. Niggas, look at, niggas look at, look at, not you. Less. Not Mr. I don't care. Niggas not you. For less. Thank you. You better you. not. Niggas are fought for less. Not you, though. Niggas are fought for less. Niggas, not you. You not niggas. You iggity. No, I'm me. Wait, now. <laughs> you wait. iggity ice. I'm you me. better not say you fought over the girl. After three weeks in a house with Michael Jackson every morning, now she got to go live back with you. You don't dance a lick. You don't got to hee You ain't got to hee hee. You don't you don't sing a song. Not a hee hee. Nothing. Yeah, actually, you're kind of moody. <laughs> That's what it is. Actually, you're a killjoy a little bit. Yo. That yeah, nigga us looks, just skating around. Come on, look at with his, all his jewelry on. Come on, yo. With stop. a leather bucket hat and a towel. That nigga what song was he skating to? Smooth as silk. See, you remind no. me of something oh, like that. Man. Absolutely. Yeah, yo, much. first of all, that's don't tell much. my girl what you remind her of. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You remind See, me. See, he's of already something. dirty macking right off the bat, so you gotta yeah. fight back with I am Mac. jealous. Of I this can nigga. get a good dirty Mac off on Usher. Yeah. And she's going she she's gonna be like, you know what? Now mind, you right. You yep. think you think if she had to choose up, she choosing you if this happens? Once I get my dirty Mac in, yeah, yeah she's going to choose me. Right to TMZ. Oh, I'm going yeah, straight to TMZ. Oh, no, 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 the article. Yo, look, 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 that's him. That's what you into? I mean, that's, that's your thing. If that's your thing, you know, oh, rock you, out. Oh, you going to my herpes line? She'll eat. <laughs> She'll take it. I'll throw herpes on nigga. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but now that you said it, I'm going right to the herpes. Are you crazy? I hate to tell you, she'll take, she might take it. Yo, this is a joke, by the way. <laughs> this is satire, by the way. I only hey, did that know. once. <laughs> that nigga got a hundred M's. <laughs> she take it, yo. Was it herpes? She just a few bumps. She take yo. it for hundred M's. <laughs> Is that what you think women would do for, for money? Yo, don't start your fuckery, dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking a question. Don't start your shit, yo. I'm not, asking a question, try, try, yo. Don't start, start right yo. I'm telling corner. you, don't start, That's yo. That's what think. Don't start. Yo, we throw that nigga in the corner. Yo, don't they, they start. They gonna take a little herp. Man, bitches out here taking her for free. <laughs> That's a buck. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Ish, you put a lot of money in this little jar. I know, yo, we need to spin it. We got to put someone through college with that little As have you. Man, what you talking about? I was watching the... Oh, Look man. at this nigga, man. Don't Look, skate. Yo, yo, he don't got skate the by me. shirt on. Look no, at the back dog. of his shirt. The nigga is crisscrossing his legs, spinning around. <laughs> that shit look ass right to one that. of his bops. Yeah, no. I ain't gonna lie. That shit look dope. I'm hating. All right. It looked dope until that's your girl. He's spinning yeah. around like that. Ice. It's nothing. I ain't really hated on too many niggas, but the guy that could skate like that. Yeah. Deservedly so. I've hated on a few dancers, too. Yeah, if you can dance too well. Because in the 90s and the early 2000s, don't. Dan- dancers have. Yeah, you got the circle around your neck, chant your name. Go here. Go here. <laughs> I'm on the side mumbling. Go here. <laughs> go, Rick. <laughs> go, Rick. Because <laughs> you, <was> <laughs> you can't look like a hater. Yo, you got, that's yo, crazy. Right, Rick no, I'm, I'm going to just walk to the bathroom. <laughs> no, and I always wondered. It was Buck, stupid ass. Buck, that was yeah, always Buck in the middle dances, of the circle yeah, dancing. Yeah, yeah, no, Buck knew the dance. Shout out to Buck. Uh, and speaking of Buck, come on, I'm really him. 
Hey, yo, you damn, could, you could play. Damn, damn. Wow. Wow. <laughs> stupid, yo, man. I told y'all my Parks Theory. <laughs> yo, speaking of buck. Did I tell everybody my Parks Theory or I no? I don't know. You know my Parks Theory, man. Oh, man. Parks That's is trying right. to. I just seen this in, in uh, Super Pumped in Uber. We're, we're fighting We're fighting in the board. <laughs> I, have, I have super shares. Parks is trying to overtake the company with his seniority, and he's trying to rally support. You love to make a narrative, boy. <laughs> I'm yo, what hello. are y'all? Yo, let me I'm ask y'all something. Hello. What do y'all think potting is? <laughs> let me ask you what you think podcasting is. I'm honest, honest, honest question. Honest question. What do you think it is? Opinions. No, to me, whatever's going. No, no, no. I change it. I change it. What do you think good potting <laughs> is? I just think it's anything that provokes thought from the audience. <laughs> so whether it be an argument, whether it be a deep dive, whether it be two starkly contrasting <laughs> opinions. Whatever's going to invoke thought in the audience that's listening is good potting. Yeah. So he's saying, I'm going to create narratives, God damn it. Yeah, or take an angle. Growing a little narrative at Parks gets the listener at home to say, hey, I don't think that's true, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, I, do I remember just when. don't know anymore. <laughs> I like that. Those are my favorite movies. I just watched some bum-ass movie on Netflix with the snowstorm. The girl gets to, pulls over at a hotel it's three niggas there. They gotta wait for the snowstorm to pass. But there's a dead body in the van outside. Oh my God, who put it there? <laughs> it's her trying to figure it out. Stupid ass movie. It was everybody in the house before she got there, put it there. <laughs> I, I hate the fucking movie. How's she getting the next nigga van? Huh? No, you, you know how there, she got there was in the only, van. No, there was only cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> you know how she got in the van. So. How? She wanted to. Yo, oh. y'all say some wild. <laughs> say it by sucking dick. <laughs> What you trying to say? She at the motel van? Yeah, man. No, they she told her it was only phone service by the tree over there. So she went over there by the tree to use the phone. And then the dead body, along with the sound effect guy, putting a thump right there like a bump. She said, help! <laughs> Out the van. Mm-hmm. Oh, so he wasn't a dead well, body? He wasn't yet. dead. Well, she died. Because the nigga came back out. <laughs> took care of business. Oh, you, the nigga came oh, back you, out and killed her. Oh, you need a plan B? Uh, yeah, he came yeah, back yeah. out and took, Second part? took care okay. of that. Uh, listen, now, speaking of Buck, Park sabotaged my beautiful segue. That was nice. I thought it was going to be Buckshot. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Shout out to Buckshot. Shout out to Brooklyn. You're in our prayers, of course. New York, New York, and a lot going on today. Word up. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Shout out to the ladies listening. Ladies! If there's ever a time to acknowledge, like, some amazing marketing from labels about acts, I think Young Buck is in that conversation. Just with how he was presented with the music and the G unit and the. I think it was marketing though. Shit. Nigga Buck had records still. Like I, I, when I when I attribute a lot to marketing, it's when the talent might not have been there, so you had to do something else to get me to pay attention to you. No, the talent is there, but how do you market the matter, talent? But... What's the story? What's the image? Mm-mm. All of that is marketing. Nah, but at front that point, facing. At that point, it's like Puff told Def Jam about one twelve. But at that hey, point, G, you're all that leather face. outfits, all Dude. that shit. My my brain. What y'all gonna do now? Mm-mm. Yeah, these I, niggas ain't them. They four niggas from Atlanta. Didn't. Know, that's what he said. I'm saying the same with Young Buck. Hold up, stop this now. Nah, I'm G, saying the same so with Young Buck. I just saw G Unit. You saying? Cause G Unit was fish grease. Yeah, that's what they I'm saying. They could have bought out damn near anybody marketing. at that point in time. And they and they did, and that's marketing. But no, I'm saying, but it wasn't specific to him. They was just it so was hot, hot that anybody they would have bought out. But it was at marketing. That's marketing. For G Unit to bring but, him in, it was marketing. For Jimmy yeah. Iovine to go, yeah. for Dre or somebody to go to Jimmy Iovine and say, "Yo, uh, having trouble with uh, game? I need to throw him over here in G mm-hmm. Unit. Mm-hmm. Have him." That's marketing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is marketing. Yeah, I agree. And like I, I said, even for I'm talking about just that's not how that happened with Buck though. Young Buck being in G Unit with the bandanas and the dress and the cars, it's marketing. And marketing is, what I'm is not a, a bad word. No, 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 it's not. But being from the Midwest, they push that. But and now, now let's go to the Buck phone calls that were recorded. Mm-hmm. Now let's go to the videos you see of him today. I start mm-hmm. with him because I just saw a video saying of him saying I got up under my contract with Fifty because I had to file bankruptcy again yeah. and I claimed that debt. Whatever he said I owed, I claimed it, and that was a wash, and that's the only way I can afford to feed myself right now. And I'm like, damn, interesting. I'm going back to Buck Records. Mm. Because when this was out, that just wasn't the thinking. But also, I, and we don't know the full story. And I, what happens if he comes out uh, during G-Unit era and says, yo, I'm bisexual? 
This is 03. This is 04 ish. 05 ish. This is not today. I'm, a, I'm asking it. tough questions it, today. I'm here. But I'm saying, I, I, what, I, I, what I'm saying about Buck, though, is th- there's a, you know, there's always three sides to a story or whatever. 50. Is on is documented in records and everything saying Buck had it. Yeah, you made a shitload of money. You were bad with your money. You were bad. You know, sometimes you give a person a bunch of money up front. They up. They never seen this before. They don't know what they doing. They're quick to end up broke. So Buck was buying Lamborghinis and shit like that. Like he was spending money in a way that he shouldn't have been spending if you're a little bit more conscious. So that could have also landed him there. Now I'm broke. Now I'm not on the hottest label no more, but I'm still contractually tied over here. I'm fucked up. Do you think that Young Buck tomorrow could wake up and make one of these? No. Why? This is a lot. This was a lot of production that he don't have access to anymore. Yeah, I would, that's the only reason I would say that. He wouldn't get that. He can't get this anymore. Yeah. I don't think that necessarily. Might, but if he got it, you think he has the ability yeah. to produce. If he, was, if, if he was able to get with. But he's not getting that beat stuff. because he's not getting that budget exactly. and he's not getting that attention and he's exactly. not getting that backing. He's exactly. not getting that. Because he's still dropping projects. Support. I, Buck's been dropping. Uh, he dropped fucking 10 and drugs last year. Marketing. marketing. <laughs> I get what you're saying. That's all I'm saying. So he goes on that list for me. It's marketing. It's, you can't. You can't. You can't bell bib devote your way out of this one. That's that is exactly what it is. And again, marketing is not necessarily a bad term. You know what I'm saying? We look at it as It's a privilege. No, yeah. I think I think when people consider marketing, um I think as, gimmick. As a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I think as a, right. as exactly. an attribute you say something to somebody's marketing success. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. Yeah, it's like but a that's not a talent yeah, to but, me. But that's not what it means. We do this thing where we interpret words mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. instead of going by what it actually the, is. Yeah, we do that a lot, especially yeah. culturally. Yeah. yeah. In, in this business. But then we'll get to playing semantics when it's time to start sending contracts back and forth, going over what words really mean. But yeah. What was we just saying? No, we just, about the, uh, we just marketing. The market oh, yeah, the marketing. Market. Yeah, no, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not Every, bad everybody word. wants it. Word. Everyone everybody needs good it. marketing. <laughs> everybody wants good marketing. And everyone needs it. Yeah. The marketing is what separates a lot of these acts. Big I time. agree with that. That's true. Big, Big time. There's some that are floating by only because of their marketing. And that's kind of what yeah. I was saying. And that's like, when what, you say marketing. Exactly. He, that didn't apply to him. That's he what was he not thought you were by saying. Because of marketing. He thought you were saying so that's based on the like, quality if marketing. If you're in the music business and you're not marketing on some level, you are going to fail. No. Listen, no, it ain't no, no. No, no, no Ice is saying, saying that saying, he though. thought Joe meant. We know what Ice thought. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah, it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So, yeah, you in any business, period. Facts. Fuck, it ain't got to be music. No, y'all fucked up my young buck vibe. Or maybe I did. Somebody did. (laughs) We'll try it this way. Now, to me, that was marketing. Heavily. Before more than more than before I heard Sean speak, it was yo, we got a dude over here that sound like Biggie. Sounds like and that's all everybody wanted to do was hear him. That's true. I never forget it was 106 in Park when the first time I actually heard him say a word, I was like, oh shit, he do sound like Biggie. All you knew that before you knew a song from Sean. You ain't know what he looked like. You, nothing. True. You just knew there was a dude over there that sound just like Biggie. Mm-hmm. That's, if there's a label involved and you're somewhat of a, a priority and they expect to get a return off of you, then there will be marketing. Yeah. Yeah. It's when there is none that you're like, oh. That's, but that's the issue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who do you think faced more pressure coming out? Young Buck or Shine? Shine. Since you shot sure. popping me Shine. up. Shine. 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 Okay. So, By far. No, yeah. no yeah. argument there. Okay. All right, there. Mic check, mic check, mic check. These guys are ready to pod today in a real talkative mood. I like it. I saw you with your man, Hayden. That's Hayden. That's crazy. This nigga doing all that while, while he's standing right there. See? No, he oh. was in the car. So what? She I, with her man. More ultimatum shit. Uh, this whole show is ultimatum today. Yo, you niggas don't see are me nasty, staring yo. at your girl. Huh? You don't see me staring at I'm low. You think you can't feel when somebody's staring at you or your girl? You the dude that's staring at niggas' girls while they standing there ish? <laughs> yes. And just yo, you clear, Randall, yo. Yo, we 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 butchered that lyric. He didn't say with your man. He said, "I seen you with your girl." So he seen oh, okay. her, her home God. girl. All right, there, thank so God. So thank God. But we here now. We here now. Look what ish. But Look yeah, what it brought out but ish. But but you, you ain't never yo, looked yo, at her. You ain't never looked at her while she was with her nigga. I've seen Joe take a nigga's girl in the club. <laughs> Fuck is you talking? Stop, yo. Stop. Stop, yo. Stop. <laughs> when? 
<laughs> I, I'll show you her on my IG. You still speak to her? <laughs> <laughs> we follow each other. <laughs> yeah, 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 Ish will keep in touch for <laughs> Yo, once Ish meets you, that's a 40 year relationship. We uh, here now. Uh, Wait, what I did? Girl came in the spot with her dude. Joe started talking to her. Just, you know, casual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And pretty soon. I'm certain I was talking to him too. Yeah, but then it'll branch off. <laughs> well, put the thumb on her. <laughs> yeah. Once that thumb come out, it's hey. a wrap. Hey, nigga, City. He shouldn't have had to pee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yo, believe you. I think you just be uh, playing gonna, on my I'm bad memory, you. yo. I'm going to show you. Uh, You've never done that, right? Nah, I don't got that. I don't be hollering when they by self. I seen a girl with a nigga in the club and took his girl in the club. Not necessarily took his girl, but yes. you ain't never seen her. Yes. Oh, he's saying, yeah, you why took his girl. Why he's there? You play the yes. scene when he go to the bathroom, though. That. You've not seen that. You, you are did, lying. You did that about three times in Perfections. <laughs> this nigga is different. Yo. Anyway, <laughs> listen, and this is in 90 or 01 or whenever this was. It's like 01, I think. And, and he said we could just start with a night, two, two nights in Malibu. Yeah. See? That's, that's the so I didn't invent that. I didn't invent that. Invent what? You be trying to act like you against that shit. Against what? Just the first date on on a trip somewhere. No. A nigga, if oh. I had money. Oh, you with that? Yo, you want to go to breakfast? <laughs> nah. Come get you a Tita, bro. Hey. We going to breakfast, breakfast. Hey. You ain't never had a croissant like this. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never had this kind of croissant. Like, oh, stupid? my God. Ish. <laughs> straight, straight to Paris. This is a different level of Ish. croissant, baby. This is flaky crust. <laughs> we are... <laughs> what? <laughs> On the, on the initial conversation. What you doing tomorrow? Uh, the- and she going to your dog. When you got that level of money, that is cheating. <laughs> that is a cheat code. But all women aren't interested in the money. Yeah. No, but the conversation. Tell them I. But that conversation. <laughs> but they're interested in the good time, though. No, you can the conversation a overlooking time. the Ri- Riviera, it just hit different. <laughs> so I'm sorry. The Eiffel in the background. Yeah. Light up. Yeah, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. You know the lights come. You know every what time, time they come yeah, on. Exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They start blinking real fast. Let's, hey, these niggas. Let's toast real quick. Right there we go. There we go. There we go, <laughs> bro. It's cheating. There's a lot of women on the little Mal- Maldives trips right now. That's the spot. They, they're, this doing year? The, they're doing the boyfriend reveals. <laughs> Uh, That's how I know Maldives is nice, boy. It make you want to show your man for a quick second. <laughs> a little bungalow. Yeah, no, nah, I got to get out there. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. Anyway, uh, welcome to episode 526 Six. of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Parks is here. <laughs> Ish is here. Ice is here. Corey is here. Young boys in the back. Yeah. All right. How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Good. How was everyone's weekend? Mental health. I'm good. I'm good. good. Text inbox. <laughs> family. Text. Baby got the a little cold. People calling to borrow money. Y'all don't get into that either. I'm bringing it out today. I'm bringing anything mm. out. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I, I don't have it. Depends on who it is. I don't have it. My moms. That's it. I ain't got it. I don't have it. I'm quick. I don't have it. Damn. Depends on who it is. Moms. Family. Moms. People who I consider family. Mommy. That's it. Brother, nothing? He good. How you much, don't need it. How much of your family you consider family? Mommy. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> how much it? You make some money. It depends on what it's Grandparents. It's, 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 a, it's a couple. Really questioning. It's levels. Yeah, it's levels. There is levels uh, for my sure. ninth birthday, they didn't really show up. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really. Yeah, it's levels of family. Absolutely. All right. That's it. All right. That was the question. How y'all doing? How was your All weekend? Right. I knew shit. I laid up. Yeah. I, I laid up. TV, Netflix, mm. footsies. Mm. I went out. Now that I think about it. Went oh, out yeah, Sunday. I saw you out with... Uh, went out, I went out Sunday night. You were out with Zeke. <laughs> shouts, to, shouts to Daniel. Goes What's by Daniel. Daniel. Goes Daniel. by Daniel. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, went out to... Uh, Favi had a, a release party for his album in Jersey. Look at you hustling and bustling, moving huh? and shaking. Listen, just going outside, wow. man. What did Favi to do? People. Just got to touch the people. I've never even called him now. Mm-hmm. That's what they call him, Favi. <laughs> I don't know him. I don't know the nigga. Yeah, but you said it like. Yeah, or like I was. Yeah, you know I mean, no, I'm not that guy. Bro. Hey, like when you chicks, were sexy. 
No, he, he said, was that's like that's, that's like the chicks used yeah. to do it when they just try to drop a name and oh, I had, had headed over to Allen's for a quick party. Wait, Allen who? Iverson. Wait, wait, Allen. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Nigga, name is AI. Me and Sean. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you know him as Allen, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's worse when they know him as Aubrey. Mm. <laughs> who? <laughs> that's true. Yeah. All I gotta do is let them call me Sean. They glad. There you go. He got a bar for everything. He definitely does. Drake was sending out candles, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what'd you do? If, ultimatum. We here. We go again. Yeah. yeah. What'd yeah. you do? If, a, can a nigga send your girl a candle? No. <laughs> Fuck. No. Wait. Why? He want to get waxed. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> Whip your ass, nigga. Send him my bitch again. What? Yo, put a Wait, why? In, yo. Why? We ultimatum in this what whole episode. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. no, we have to. What reason would another man have to send my girl a candle? Your girl loves candles. I'll get her candles, nigga. I'm making, I have a line of candles. I'm making them. I'm, 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 I'm curating the scent myself. I mean, it depends on who the dude is. If it's like one of her friends, cool. But if, yeah, if he's not a business thing. Some, yeah, some, some random one, rapper? Not, no, you cannot. <laughs> no, nah, it's one of her male friends. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Go ahead. It's something coming. <laughs> so that fast, that changes it for you. It does, absolutely. So, so just like the homie from school, like they, yeah. it's a homie. And if he has a candle line. One yeah, of her childhood he friends. Yeah. Yeah, he could do that. Wait, yeah. first of all, that's allowed in your house? Childhood friends? Yeah. Yes. Oh, fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, man, she can hey, have friends. Hey, you can get a little Timmy from fourth grade to fuck out of here. <laughs> we are grown. <laughs> My childhood friend. That mm. man, we, what happened to your childhood, yo? <laughs> yeah, you, Why you maintained your childhood relationship? Because <laughs> she's a good fucking person. Nigga, who you speak to from fifth grade? A couple people, actually. I got mad. Quite a few. From seventh. Yeah. Yeah. And f- yeah, fifth, too. Mm-hmm. Y'all are liars. I'm being, yo, uh, that's why I don't. My best female yo. friend is from seventh grade, nigga. My best female friend is from seventh grade. Why are we lying? Because you ain't got it. Well, I went to school in Queens in the fifth and grade. You could have kept in I contact moved. with. No, niggas died. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole elementary school just is deceased. No, but the people I was close to passed away. I've been blessed in that regard. Like a lot of huh? people died. Why is that a blessing? <laughs> to stay, to stay alive? Oh, that you're still alive. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, I, no I, have, I have quite a few friends from elementary school, though. Not even joking. Why do you still want to talk to niggas from elementary school? You just like kidding. They good quality yeah. people. How the fuck you know that nigga was Because eight. we stayed in touch. We stayed yeah. in touch for uh, 30 y'all, years. I hate these niggas. Dog, it's okay to have long-term partners, like, yo. So full of shit, yo. yo but so go ahead. You, but go you, ahead. You, you different. Go bro. ahead. Y'all it's full okay, of it's shit. It's okay to have like long-term no, healthy I, relationships. I, I agree. This is the narrative. narrative. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Gotta paint the narrative. Anyways. It's okay, though. I'm glad all of y'all are doing well. Well, how could you not be? You speak to everybody from kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> they say everybody. You got a couple. Uh, we have a couple. I'm, yeah. <laughs> damn. I'm so, not. I'm yo, not your question. Wait, so a nigga can't send your girl a candle? If it's childhood friend and he has a candle line, <laughs> yeah, he can send her a candle. All right, no comment. But, I, 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 nah, nah, I, nah. I ain't getting out there by myself. If he met her in the last two or three years, nah, he can nah, send her one? No, no. Well, wait. Was we together when he met her? Like, this somebody she uh, was... That, that counts. Does it matter? Yes. Really? Yeah, it counts. Yeah. If this is somebody that you met before me, I, <laughs> that's your man's. Better. That's your people's. Like, you can, he can send you a candle. You met this nigga at... Nah. He not even supposed to have your address to exactly. send you a candle if he met you <laughs> that, And that's my together. point. That's my point. Yo, that's Minnesota, something different. That's so crazy. I <laughs> love asking men these things, that's yo. Point. What's nah. your opinion? <laughs> no, a, a nigga opinion. that you met in the last year can send you a candle. I love candles. No, your girl. Oh, send two. <laughs> <laughs> You've run. It's the, all right. The problem ain't what you send in the candle. The problem is if that works. No, the problem is that little handwritten note that go with the candle. Yeah, yeah. What's a little note? That say? little personalized. How'd note? you get the address, Aki? P.O. Yeah. Box. I don't care. How you get? How that? you get that? Why are you talking? No. Sorry. Wait, your girl can't. Wait, so your girl can make no new friends if y'all in a relationship. Nobody, she can't meet a new guy. <laughs> you can meet. You can meet who you want to meet. Yeah, yeah. I bet I know you met the him. The fact that <laughs> <laughs> yo, niggas are sick, yo. I'm not saying that. I did. Yo, me. You can meet who you want to meet. How did y'all get to the point where y'all exchanging addresses? <laughs> P.O. boxes? I wouldn't give a fuck if it was a C.O. box. Nigga, why is that necessary? 
It's not necessary, but we did it. Da-da, ta- as you would say, but wait, but, it's, but wait, why does it have to be necessary to get done? This is somebody I see once a month. We've developed enough of a rapport to where, as you can have my P.O. box. That's, that's not my pussy. <laughs> Start with a P. And it's a box. Got a box and it's a box. And a box. Yo, men are we crazy. just missing the we, O. We, we, yeah. Men are crazy. <laughs> Yo, come on, let's it, get right though to me. And if he hit it, and if he hit it right, he might get the O out. Yo, if that candle got the right aroma, the O might come, nigga. You stupid. You don't need my girl's address, dog. Can a nigga buy your girl lunch at work? Yes, absolutely. Coworker? Yeah. Work husband. Coworker. Huh. Yeah, y'all are liars. All y'all do is lie. Come on, I'm not lying. On, I just let's... don't need to know this shit. That's my whole thing. Like, if you out there work, your work husband buying you lunch, cool. When I know your work husband is buying you lunch, we have a little problem now. Now, if a dude she don't work with buy the lunch, that's, that's, that's an yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a problem. Yeah, you can have a rapport with people at work. Yeah, yeah. have your work husband. That's fine. Let's get right to ultimatum, man. Let's do yeah, it. Come on. It's the best. So y'all go get the this, lion some more. The, the Lachey's love a mess, don't they? This is great. <laughs> and I'm only two episodes in. This is amazing. I, I've been crying. Come on. There's, there's a show there. on Netflix called Ultimatum. Nick Lachey and his wife are back at it. They did Love they is Blind. Yeah, Love is Blind, where they put people in a uh, a room and they talk for like a week or a couple days or whatever it is, but they can't see each other. It's like a, a hidden door. It's like that's, jail? That's dope. And then they decide if they like each other and then they meet each other afterwards. No, nah, I'm cool on that. But you know, love ain't, my love ain't blind. Yeah, yeah my love is not blind. When that cataract go away, you be like, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm good I'm on good. that. No, I need love, to see you yeah, first. My love got 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see you. Ew, why was I going to do that? This show is pretty creative, though. I didn't know that Nick Lachey was behind that, he and his wife. Yeah. Nick Lachey and his wife look like if they were contestants on this show that, that they're not all the way done with their demons. <laughs> yeah, true. They be talking about it. Hey, I got that from the first conversation. They yeah, kind of but saying yeah, it. they got off that conversation rather quickly. <laughs> they kept looking at each nice other. Nice little edit. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're going to cut this part out right here. Yeah, he was like, it's been a rough journey, but we're here. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> I it fucking has. <laughs> no, we just now like, I got to know who cheated on who. We here for the back. No, it's fun like hearing about together. who cheated on somebody. I'm such a messy bitch. <laughs> All right, but they back. Yeah. yeah, they back. And the premise of this show is we take some couples where one person's ready for marriage and one person is not. Yeah. And we give them an accelerated marriage experience with someone else. So there are six couples there. No, yes. there are six couples six there. Couples. Yeah, I think that's right. And each person, each, the person who... Presented the they're ultimatum. They're swinging, man. They're swinging. But they're not swinging. It's the person <laughs> it's that the person that presented the ultimatum gets to pick a partner in the house. And if you have the right match, then that's who you with. And then you go live with that person in a hotel room for three weeks. No, 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 no. It's it's a little bit more than that, though. It ain't the person who pick. Everybody switches. Yeah, 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 well, everybody yeah, picks. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You just you you're all mingle. From this moment on, y'all are all single. It's like speed dating. Yeah, 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 it's like speed dating. Yeah, 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 like speed they pick up. They choose. And up. then you decide who you want to. Live as married with for the next three weeks yeah. out of these. So everybody chooses up, and then yeah. you go live in a hotel for three weeks. And when those three, uh, when those three weeks are over, you go live with the person you came in with. Well, well I didn't get. Let me ask weeks. you a question. I didn't get this far, but let's just say hypothetically, it's twelve people all together. Uh-huh. But let's say two girls pick one dude. There's then a little bit of that going on. So yeah. it was up to him to pick which one he wanted. If he, or or neither one of them. I'm just saying, if if he didn't yes. want either one of them, yes. he might have wanted somebody. They else. go around the table. So now, what happens then? You got. If I don't pick neither one of y'all, I don't pick neither one of y'all. No, I'm saying so. It, all twelve people didn't get picked. It's an uncomfortable conversation happens. Then. Yeah, yeah. Mm, that was called happened. episode two. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> got you. Okay, uncomfortable conversation. Got you. I watched this show very fast. You watched the whole shit already. Right through it. All, <laughs> oh, all, all I'm the way mad. He Zoom. told me about this late. Yo. He told Zoom. us about it, man. Look. Now, listen. I watched it by mistake. Ian had been telling me, and a few other people had been Bad telling me to watch me. to watch 90 Day Fiance this season. They said they on there bugging, bugging. They've been bugging. They told Quite me they few, was yeah. bugging. So I was trying to watch that, but it's not on any of my apps. Uh, didn't know what app to get it on. TLC, on Discovery Plus. I searched it on Hulu. Oh, really? Didn't see a thing. Can my wife watches so many of these shows. That, I can't keep you track of which one. I went to Plex. No, it's definitely there. I told you you need to work on my Plex. Got you. Uh, but I couldn't find it, so next best thing, ultimatum. I had no idea that this thing would be this good. This is not an ad, 
But this is a mess. A messy right mess. off the bat. Bro. Right off the me. bat. So my first question, because Ish hasn't seen it. Y'all are not all the way not caught seen up. The, I've seen the first one. But it don't matter, because I don't even want to talk about them. I want to talk about us. Right. <laughs> Let's do it. Would you do that? I've done would, it. Would anybody here do that? I did it. Sort of. And tell me about it. So me and me and my wife broke up. We dated for a little while. We broke up for six months, dated other people, and realized that we liked each other more than we wanted to be apart. It's a little that's different. different. Very okay. different. No, no, no. It's the same he's, premise. He's same running premise. from feelings. No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, go ahead. What I'm saying is, you don't get to see yeah. her pick the other dude. Oh yeah, it's like it wasn't that, that, as right. That's a but we still follow each other on social media, so we kind of saw it. Stop it, Park. Stop it. That's different. Y'all we are having dates? an honest talk. Y'all was posting dates? You seeing something on yeah. social media really? is totally different from seeing the man that, that your partner picks, your partner going to live with that person for three weeks, and then right after that, coming back with you, you kicking it with the nigga, y'all having drinks together. This is, what you're saying is different. Most people have done what you've done. Mm-hmm. And while the premise may be similar, this is other shit. This is, oh, this is doing, the extreme version of that. Yeah. And this that's, that's what Somebody's I want to talk about. Reach. I want to talk about the extreme yeah. version of that. Could you, knowing the premise of this show, do that? Absolutely not. Not probably not. I would be home. I'm going to tell, tell you straight up. Like, I was watching this even on episode one. I was like, yo, they need to. Let me tweak a couple things about this show. <laughs> like, instead of them being in their mid-20s, make them in their mid-30s. True. Give me two real niggas and one project chick. This this was a Mona <laughs> Scott away from being a <laughs> this, classic. This, this, this could have went. Classic show. Y'all had one. Y'all was right there, but no, no, no. I'm sitting here watching certain scenes, and I'm like, yeah, I threw this all nigga we, over the ball we needed, right here. Yep, just put Erica Mina in one of these, <laughs> in one of these scenes, and that's gang that's gang. It, that's it. No, no, but, no, that's not a shot. Yeah, no, it ain't a shot. It's not she, a shot. Yeah, that's what's missing. Fair. You need one of them. Just yeah. one. Yeah. One. There's no way all this laughing and kicking need... is going on, and I'm I'm here. I want to see this with like Alexis Sky. I want to see this. <laughs> I want to see a hood, a hood that's version what I'm of this. I need like yeah, how, you're right. Like when Chappelle did the Mad Real World sketch, yeah. sketch, sketch. Excuse me, sketch, yeah. sketch, same shit. When he did that, I need to see that version of this. I want them. I don't like them in their twenties. True. I want them in their thirties. It's a little more pressure in the thirties. And I, like I said, I want two real niggas. And one project, one just hood chick. This whole show goes up. Rim is taken, and I don't want to use Rim as a no. Rim, we can, but, we can, but yeah. uh, Sasha is taking the new dude to meet her parents. Oh no, I'm, I'm now, homeboy. Now, right after that, I'm homeboy in episode two. It's like, oh no, fuck this. I'm, let's get married right now. Yeah, you seen him? Right? He cleared it out. He got yeah, right he out. He cleared the game. it out. Yeah. <laughs> he got out the game. Yeah. He's like, yo, check, I want to marry her now. Like, yeah. check, check, fuck all this check, shit. please. Hey, I'm sorry if it's a spoiler, but the second dude yeah. was even more like, nah, nope, not him. him? See, and that's nope. where it's tricky as a man. He has no idea the guy proposing that she was just tossing that pussy at uh Jacob the day before. Right. <laughs> yeah. And he that's enough, tricky. And and not only that, we we spoiled. That hurts. I'm, sorry. I'm not up. marrying you a you day after it. you do that, yo. The nigga that said, yo, tapped out, his Yamin was. Yeah. And uh, hold on, I'm going to take it a So step now up. what happens when the video the show, comes out? Listen, let me, wait, stop, Ish. Stop. Go a step further. And yes, we spoiling. Sorry, but this is good. Yeah, you need to watch sorry, it. Sorry, yeah. The same chick, we talking about Alexis, went on there and said, yo, if he wasn't making the money, if he lost the ability to make the amount of money he's making now, I'd walk away from him. Mm-hmm. And she's like, and this is my first time saying that out loud. Like, she's telling every dude she meet, yo, you need to make, I'm not going to be the breadwinner. Marriage is a financial decision first. Mm-hmm. Emotional you knew she was second. Getting she, yeah, yo, dog. Niggas was looking at her like, it's, any, it's crazy. any of y'all here think you could be on a date and your partner be on a date no. in the same space? No, Not really, no. it's some furniture they, movie. They did that too. Yeah, that was yeah. the first couple episodes. First, yeah, the first shorty sitting there trying know, to talk to I'm this home dude and watching hustling. with my mouth dropped Same. to the fucking floor. Me I'm too. looking at moments where real nigga shit they, was supposed they, to happen. They kept it real cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. This this almost tells me this is uh, the entire thing was scripted. Oh, oh no, no. You just keep watching. Oh, all right. I'll get there. You just keep watching because I'm watching like because of course the darkest nigga on there. <laughs> he was going to talk mad at him. Yeah. No, of course. Nigga, he was, what you doing? Turn this shit up. Go yoke this nigga up. Because. Cause now you sitting there. Cause now after you go date my girl, now we got to come back for cocktails. Wait, so and all the fellas come back yes. and kick it? Now let me ask you. Yeah, question. and now the but dude yo, is sitting there. This, this WWE Royal Rumble at that point. No, this the this the bad part now. 
Cause we had a Over few. Top. We've had a few pods now when niggas' security level comes into play. Well, I'm telling you, I'm not even going on this. So you get what I'm get saying? It. Like, no, I'm just saying. So we say, yo, your chick chose up. Yeah. Why you mad at the nigga? No, 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 no. Your chick chose up. Stop it. But now y'all not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna answer you. Stop it. Hold on, Joe. 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 Let me answer oh, you. Pod. Go ahead. Let me answer you. Your right. convo too hot. <laughs> huh? Convo too hot. <laughs> Yo, your chick, right. your chick chooses up. Shut up. So look. Oh, we coming back to that comment. Oh, um, I ain't using that crying. That's what you said, nigga. Big, Big tears, like crying, crocodile tears. Not crying the ultimate. Crying. Crying. Yeah. Like but crying look, Gatorade. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but look, yeah, she chose up. You, 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 right here in my face, choosing up and still dancing in my face. That's different, bro. I'm talking about the extreme. Shows up, go do your thing. Like that's what it is. The nigga can't then you can't come, come order a pepperoni pizza in front of my face nah. and and, Are you and, nuts? and glush and blush yeah, about nah. how amazing my girl is in nah. front of me. Nope. No. And I'm supposed no, to sit no, there and do what? About. But, but like I said, I would because that's not now. It ain't about the girl. You're right. She shows up, but now, all right, man, time. Yeah. Why are you playing with me, yo? Hey, I look. Wait, pu- and the same thing. Pussy. Now wait, you think I'm pussy? But the same thing happened on the women's side. When the women got together, that's spoiler not, alert. That's, see, I didn't it, get that far. It was one of the girls. She, I like your boyfriend now, so it's up. It's up. How, you feel how you feel about it. I want him. Yo, somebody pop. I hate my my boyfriend. I want <laughs> I want your boyfriend. He showed me what a real nigga is. Yeah. So now nah, the women get spicy. Wow, yeah. The women, listen, good show. We just love I think, the cast I think, a bit. I think there's more here. Yeah, they'll probably do a season two. They'll probably I'm talking about here in the room. No, no, no. I'm gonna see it. <laughs> Once we see it. Once we see it. Now I would have. I told you I would have been doing it on the second second show, second episode. No, when we got here. When they go nah, around I mean, the table, now we're gone. Let's nah, get I mean, out of here. Uh-uh, we're getting nah, married. Because now I'm, I'm you're not, not going. What was the homeboy's name? Oh man, the one, all the girls wanted the white boy. Caleb. No, no. Uh, Kobe. 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 Yeah. Nah, not him. They said no. No, no. So all the girls wanted him. Yeah. Everybody. Really? Yeah. Oh, Cole, get them niggas, Cole. Yo, <laughs> one, chick, one chick was, uh, had, you have the audacity to not want me? Like, yeah. she, she flipped that shit. Fam, what I'm saying you is You think your girl going to live in, in, in the house with somebody for th- three weeks and just not break the touch barrier at all? Word. Niggas was breaking the touch barrier Fam, on the not date. Come to, not come to <laughs> bed with about? the little shorts on, though? Yeah. And then come back to live with me for a week. This is what I'm going to say. Fam, so that's that's <laughs> once we here, right? <laughs> look, look. Yo, listen. Once we here, nigga, think about some. Shit. <laughs> now, 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 now I'm pissed off. Now it just hit me what she was trying to say. Oh, she gonna say that on the walkout? Yeah, yeah nigga. Yo, dog. Don't, 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 don't. Listen, don't get me started. All right. Yo, listen. What, what I'm saying is this. Now we here. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to see how far you gonna go. You gone already? To me. No, like it's gonna tell me a lot about. And you are gonna watch it? That's the problem. Might be a little rough. A little I guess it depends rough. on how nice the woman. And, 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 and you doing your thing at the same time. And yeah, you might have found a shorty that you really into. Yeah, but she might be more into him than I'm into her. Word. That's po- definitely possible. I don't like that. But what now? We here now, so I want to see where you go. I want to see when you, know you come. The other, the other thing that they got a tweak on it. Yo, yo, the other that's thing they got a tweak is it was only a year and a half. Most of these people were only in a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. Give me some long. That's what I want to say. Give me a six year relationship. Yeah, show me that. See how that show goes. Me that. That's where they got a tweak. That's the main thing. Yeah, they got they, a they've been together a year and a half, two years. Yeah. A year, year and a half. Some of them was five. No. Nah. Nobody was really. Nah. Nobody was five. It was all, it was all one, short. two years. They, they did great with the casting. Young people, listen, these shows are made in the casting. Of for it. sure. I, true, true, we true. don't have time for that's these six-year relationships for the bond. And when we put it on TV, this is TV. Right. We're getting these 22, 23, 24-year-olds. Young, attractive. we asking them about what they're really attracted to. If it ain't mm-hmm. you, we're going to source that, put that mm-hmm. person in there. This uh-huh. is a science. We ain't got time for that. I know. I hear you. I just, yeah, listen. You ain't hear what you Mona said. and Jocelyn, one of y'all do the hour version of this, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> the hour made them? Yeah, I need hours. That's not for <laughs> Yo, us. The hour oh, made them. I, I need hours. You ain't hear what he said? This is where being rich is so important. <laughs> Sorry. I know it sounds bad. Kanye told him, it's a thousand yous. It's only one of me, dog. I'm hard to find. It ain't a thousand hours, though. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> Don't do that. Stop it. Stop. Sure. It's, no, it's not. 
Ish, you my guy. Please don't Stop do that, Ish. Yo. I hate for it, Kanye. Yes, it was a thousand yeah. hers. No, no. no, it wasn't. How? <laughs> There's not a he thousand. He found them. Where, where they at? Show me one of them that he's found since. It, All right, Ish. Let's move on. <laughs> no, that's that's who he was. We with. moving on, yo. It's a thousand. Oh, a thousand. Oh no, you're right. No, he's fucking right. crazy. He's right. He's, right. he's 100 right. It's a thousand. A thousand. Like a million. We talking about the person. wrong one. When he said that, he wasn't talking about yes. her. He was talking uh, about her. It ain't a thousand uh, hers. Oh, okay, it's a okay. million hers. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, right. Yeah. He's yeah. right. He's right. Nigga, you got an IG? You got to explore? No, he's he, right. Oh, he was with her. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Friend of the show. It's, a, it's, it's an explore page full of them. Maybe not to that level. Uh, but Maybe not to that level, but... It's no, comparable. Maybe, maybe to that level too. I don't want to be disrespectful. I'm not being that, that, that's, that's not that's, I don't that's want disrespectful. No, that's saluting the rest of them too. Just make it rain in, in here. Like just <laughs> I ain't said I ain't said a word. I know, but I feel it coming. <laughs> Kanye wasn't wrong. No, no, he wasn't. All right, the uh, finale of ultimatum can't come. Came out today along with the uh, reunion. It's gonna be a fight there. I can't wait. Yeah, I don't know how they made it. I also to episode don't... two without a fight. The bag might have been nice enough. Like, yo, you, just, gotta, you disqualify yeah, your whole bag yeah, if you get up here next to I don't think the bag was that nice. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't think so. And let me just jump in and with... And fuck that bag at that point. So episode two or three of Bad Boys of L.A. on oh, Zeus. Oh, man. <laughs> yo, I can't yo, never just finish fuck what fuck I'm fuck saying. I'm listening. I want to hear this. I, I just can't never finish what I'm saying. <laughs> All I want to do is talk. Mm. Tell us about the bad boys. I'm bringing it to hip hop, but it's just laughing. It is infectious. I will not speak over it. Uh, I'm bringing it to hip hop. Listen, episode two or three, and y'all should know I'm bringing it to hip hop, of the bad boys at LA show ends in the babies fight at the bowling alley. You lying. Wait. No shit. Huh? I said again, episode two or three ends they were going out they were taking all the bad boys of la out the house to a party it was in la with celebrities there uh london on the track the baby and just out of nowhere kaboom a fight breaks out they're in there recording the fight that's what they were filming at this at that bowling alley that's one of the things they were oh, filming <laughs> and if you watch this show you now see this fight in an entirely new light yo really so wait, I'm fam. These that dude right there, I don't know. William is his name. He got on in, in the show, and now I just sound. I'm really a messy bitch. Let me put another dollar. There. <laughs> he got on a a cat suit with money all over the cat suit, shaking ass all over the bowling alley, twerking. The one straight dude, oh, it was two straight dudes, but one of them, he mad the whole show. He's like, yo, stop shaking your ass on me. <laughs> and on then, me. And then a fight breaks out. <laughs> and the baby is slinging this nigga down wait, the bowling wait, alley. Wait, I'm out. I wish. While this twerking is going on. Don't swing. You shaking his ass on him? He could be mad at that. It wasn't on him, oh, but okay. it was too no, close that... for the dude's liking. <laughs> And he been he been bugging the whole show. He been bugging. He tried to force uh Kirk Franklin's son out the closet. We could just move on. Oh, they say Kirk Franklin is arrested for uh Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, we gotta stop calling him Kirk Franklin's son. What's his name? Like sometimes you gotta uh believe the dad that left. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dog. <laughs> So, so he's gonna call a nigga by his hey, name now. <laughs> hey, sometimes that nigga was on to something. <laughs> Yo, come on, Joe. What? <laughs> the, the crazy part is, I'm looking at every article. I still don't know this nigga name yet. Carry on. Carry on. I, you carry. That's exactly on. what he did. <laughs> that nigga named Kirk Franklin. He, he carried on. He carried on. And they even have a name for this. What you want to name? Man, carry on with your with your bad self. <laughs> Go ahead, carry on. You always playing. Holy shit. That's funny, yo. That's funny. that's that's fucked up. Hey, sometimes <laughs> that's fucked up. That's not hey, funny. you knew it was bad. All the blogs came out when we learned about uh carry on being this, whatever they was beefing about back when they had Kirk Franklin cussing. <laughs> when all the blogs yeah, came out, that. the blogs came out, they was like, yo, Kirk Franklin don't want nothing to do with his son. That nigga Kirk Franklin didn't refute a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He didn't refute any of it. 
He came out and said, thank God, we love him. All praise, dude. Just keep on praying. Keep praying, y'all. Then when they got Kirk mad, he gave us a little bit. Listen, this nigga been acting a, a fool. We done been got him out of this Not house. Your motherfucking head. <laughs> Yo, how y'all not going to trust Kirk oh, Franklin's man. opinion? So now this dude is arrested with what they say is in relation to a murder. He was pulled over in the car with the, uh, with the brake light out. Y'all know that trick. Mm-hmm. He had a pistol in the car, and the car is related to a woman that was missing and is rumored to be murdered. Oh, that's shit. the part that's funny in the writing, rumored to be murdered. Is she murdered or not? But it, uh, he's only arrested on what I believe to be a misdemeanor right now, but that's, that's the talk on him. They, but but so, they holding him. Yeah, I'm about to say, no without bail. the option, with no bail on a misdemeanor? Yeah, we gonna yeah we gotta figure this out. But you ain't got nothing. If you charge no. me, then yeah. no, we need more. Then let me out. Nope, it's nigga, we will hold you for seventy two hours, whatever the rule, rule is. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that time window, yeah. yeah. Okay, and we'll find the charge. I thought you meant just have the nigga sit until we figure out what we doing. Shit. Yeah, man, but uh, that's what's going on with carry on. I'm done with my TV, my ratchet TV for the day <laughs> with Ultimatum. And you, you get me this close to subscribing to that Zeus. Man. Nah, the nigga, you, ain't <laughs> even you, better, you better hurry up and do it because ain't going to be no more Zeus soon. <laughs> so hey, cool. that nigga got about 90 lawsuits headed his way. We, we still waiting on the Jocelyn reunion show. You're not getting that, That bro. they editing. No, no. <laughs> they had to hire some new editors for that. Nigga, that shit going to be an IG clip by the I time they you, done. I thought you was going to give us some more on the fight from the other angles. No, the fight is funnier with gay dudes in spandex twerking. <laughs> That's funnier now. That is funny. They made that shit look like it was hip hopped out, like it was mad right. rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bad boys of LA is there, and it's, you, it's look at y'all carrying on. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, y'all playing. It's, it's be tough to fight with a bunch of niggas twerking around you. <laughs> Niggas, right. niggas are shaking ass. They got BBLs and everything. Go ahead. Niggas stole me. I'm gonna leave. I'm out of here. You out of here? I'll get you. Now you, now you got to run away through niggas twerking. <laughs> maybe, maybe it don't sound as funny to y'all as it does to me. Yeah, and then, no, well, no, man, pardon me, part, part, pardon me. Dog. The me funny shit on the show is the niggas that was twerking. They got back in the little Zeus van and was mad at the baby. But fucking up they twerk Yeah, session. you ruined the vibe. <laughs> so, oh, shit. Y'all got to watch the show. And you better watch it fast because Zeus is getting out of here. Them lawsuits is flying. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak one in too. <laughs> nah, for real. I got, yeah, nah, just from watching. Just from watching. I couldn't go to work for you three months. PTSD. 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 Yeah, definitely. Nightmares. P- PTSD. On, I'm going to get go. me a lawsuit on somebody. Oh, man. Man. One of these niggas. I'm going to get a lawsuit. Give <laughs> me a little PTSD for real, lawsuit. That, the lawsuit shit, you know what it is? It's like back in the day when you used to go into friendlies or they used to have a machine here with a bunch of money in it and the thing go down the claw. You take as much of it as you want. Oh, man. It's hit or miss. That's what the lawsuit is. It's hit or miss. Nah, the lawsuit, because the lawsuit ain't about winning. Just settle. Just settle. Give him, yeah, just give them settle. About settle. I throw a number up there. Yeah, you settle. I don't right. care. No, nah, these broke ass niggas out here. They know the game. They do. They they know the game. Yeah, give me do. give me a lawyer for free. A free lawyer. He gonna get a third. You you gonna get some big big wig and pay for yours. Mm-hmm. Mine's mm-hmm. gonna take it off of what he know the eventual settlement to be. Yep. Yours gonna try to settle. I'm gonna throw some astronomical number out there. Mm-hmm. They say somebody was coming to Chris for forty million or some shit. That nigga just start putting out heat. <laughs> I don't care what y'all saying. It's so yo. It's so. It gotta be great to be talented enough to just put out some heat when some shit come. Get, well, yeah. And he had the proof though. And he had yeah. the proof. Yeah. That part. And the same. The Trey Song just got cleared in one of his cases. They said, yo, we we just, we don't have nothing. To pr- we can't proceed. Yeah. Russ told me he ain't talking to nobody without NDA getting signed. I'm not mad at it. Mm. Today, protect yourself. When you worth that much, I guess it's worth having the awkward conversation. Yeah. Then you got to put a condom on. No point in having an NDA and <laughs> giving her baby. <laughs> or or put it in the NDA. Yo, put it yo in I'm killing yo. the jokes and y'all not really Excuse laughing at it. No. Hello? No, Excuse I, me. I'm thinking about Hello? it. No, put that shit in the contract too. <laughs> what? Hey, dogs. <laughs> if you get pregnant? You signed here. <laughs> what that mean? I changed my mind. Okay. You signed here. Or I changed my mind. Change your mind. I'm, you're waving everything to come after me if you signed here. You're giving me 50 grand a month. You're out here. You, no, you signed here. Cam Newton went on the podcast and said, hey, more ladies need to know how to treat a man. <laughs> they killing they him. They tore his ass off. <laughs> oh, yo, they nigga. are beating his ass out of here for saying that. Boy. You know they, you can't say nothing favorable to a man. No, they 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 got they tore Cam Newton ass off, though. Yes. 
Yes, yeah. yes. Bad. He might walk that one back. It was that bad. But what did he say bad? Nothing. What did he say bad? Pam, you can't tell a woman she needs to know how to cater to a man's needs. Why? Why? But they could tell us we we need yeah. to know how to be providers. No, they need. No, they tell no, they us tell we, need we don't to need know. to be providers. No, that's no more. not true. They Black tell us we need to know how to yes. treat a lady. Yes, they do. Pam, it is. They e- tell us we need to know how to treat a lady. So okay. why can't we say you need to know how to treat a man? Say it. Go right ahead and say it. But no. you know why? No, I don't. That's why I'm asking. Dog, let's play. Yo, my little play, leg we, we, jumping and everything. I'm dog. playing double dutch. It's I want to jump in so bad. Jump in. Fam, no, I don't want to. I'm scared. I just don't I'm understand. Pussy. How come they can do it and we can't say you need to know how to treat a man? Unfortunately. I'm not saying that gives him a license to say, hey, you should know when to shut the fuck up. Maybe his view on how you should treat a man yeah, yo, is, what, so sick, is what they're attacking. You make me sick. How? I speak to a lot of women, so I try to this speak is for what they have exact said. exact argument from last week. I'm listening. I don't remember yesterday. You mean I, talk, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember nothing. We here. talk too much. On a part of the show, the lady told the dude, yo, you got to do this. And then when the dude told the lady, yo, you got to do this, y'all said, fuck him. I didn't say fuck no. him. That's different. That's very different. That's, that's very different. different. Very different. Yeah, that's different. Uh, that's what y'all said. There's okay. a child. There's a lot of things in that. Yeah. I'm talking different. about the sentiment, the overall sentiment. If a woman can say, yo, men need to improve in this area, uh-huh. why could not men have the same autonomy to say, women need to improve in this area? Well, I think it's call apples to apples. apples. It's not, it, they control the narrative. That's why. It's controlling the narrative. And when you say something that rubs the wrong people away, yo, the people not, the wrong yo, way. That narrative shit died when the Black Lives Matter girls took that money and went on Zillow and bought that fucking content house. I ain't mad at that, by the way. <laughs> and I don't really hear enough about it. <laughs> what you want? What you going to hear? Something. They something. mad. They mad. Okay. Because well, every, every, from up here. Because everybody that came out uh, waving a flag saying, hey, something's fishy about that Black Lives Matter shit that y'all supporting is profiting over black death. Mm-hmm. Like... That's a big thing. That's my fucking problem with cancel culture. When something big come up, boy, y'all skip it. Y'all get mute. Y'all handle the shit that don't nobody care about. Like fucking, I don't want to say Daniel Caesar. That's my man. But y'all take care of stuff like that. Because, Joe, cancel culture ain't really about a cause. Cancel culture is about what's going to get us the most They bought a content house in front attention. of y'all face. They want attention. That's what cancel culture is Yo, about. Dog. I'm still in Park's house. <laughs> they went and bought a content house in front of y'all face, $6 million. Said we having meetings here and going to do some Zooms. But anyway, we off. We off. I just the told you, Con- cancel we culture is fun. about attention. It's a write off. It's about attention. We are gonna zoom. Send them to jail. That's what I'm working yeah, okay. from. I'm working from here. Not enough people gonna care. Send them to jail. Not enough people are gonna care. They're not going. No, they're not going. I know the street nigga says you shouldn't want to ever see nobody in jail, but that's because they've been to jail, so they know how bad it is. I ain't really spent no time in jail, so there's a few niggas that should go to jail. <laughs> there's a few of these niggas that should go, yo. Yo, you heard your man? Nigga, you know what would happen if I did that? Yeah. You going to jail? Yo, your man? No, you not. Who not? Joe. Got money. That's what they do, fam. That's the history of a fucking America. I got enough money to not go to jail. I'm still yeah, black. Yeah, you do. Dude, you got a $6 million house. You got some spanky to spend on a lawyer. It's the history of there. fucking America, dog. We found a loophole and we exploit it. Good point. That's what happens. Your girl from um, what's your, your girl you like that uh get sentenced next month? Elizabeth Holmes. There you go. That's my girl. Yeah. Yo, at the end of Super Pumped, they show how much all the participants made off their Uber shares. Mm. A different type of money, yo. And I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> a different type sick. of money, yo. Yo, the people that he fired went off to start a new pharmaceutical company mm-hmm. worth six hundred billion or some oh, crazy shit. shit. <laughs> like he was getting rid of people that mm-hmm. was up up. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> hey, the dude he fought with about control of the company six billion, girly, six billion, something like. Sheesh. The Huffington, the Huffington lady. Post. Yeah, Ariana Huffington. Hey, she's so ill. They at the end of the show they said we still don't know what she made. <laughs> Damn, come <laughs> on, yo. God damn. So that's why when you last week or whatever week that was, say, it was last part where you was like, how much will you give up your blackness for? Would it be 500 amps? Not for me, because if they could do that. I didn't say a thing. You made sense when you said 50 is. Yeah, we could do it. You could do it. It's tough to imagine. You, You could do it. And a lot of hard work comes with it. It does. But once they get to scaling and 10Xing and we bought this at a dollar and now the shit is worth $200. 
And if you get into that, and then you really understand my beef with fucking Spotify when I had it. There's niggas in here that got in when it was this. Mm -hmm. They didn't, they wasn't public. That was not a public company. No, it wasn't. Right. Fam, think about this. We got there. We, wa we watching the Lakers shit. Oh, if I'd have known to ask for some equity, they might have laughed in my face. But you would have asked. But I'd asked. You might have got it. And I might have got it a little bit. Yo, fucking Magic Johnson on the Lakers shit. Yeah, that Nike. Nike Converse offered shit. him some bread. I mean, mm -hmm. Nike offered him equity. equity. Yeah, he turned it down for the Converse, Converse. money deal. Mm -hmm. They said Magic's, uh, uh, and uh, they only beat the money by like thirty grand. It's not a lot, but back then grand. it was a lot. But this is the thing: Magic Johnson, his stake in Nike today will be worth five point two billion dollars had looks, he taken. And the that's equity how you deal. do it. Had he taken the equity deal, and that's how you do it. We hear stories all the time about that. Like you that's, have, you have to have the. The, the site, the, the long vision to, yeah, but that, to see And that's that. the information. Everybody don't have it. That's yeah. the information. That's information. Exactly. the information. Exactly. information. Again, we go back to the, we, we talked about the little baby record oh, yeah. before where he said, yo, I need equity to sign mm -hmm. the deal. Like now these niggas mm -hmm. know that young, this young generation, you're not I'm, getting that off no, on us. Dog, not just that. I got enough money. Right. And you can, I mean, not like that. I might but, not have enough money, but no, I but understand what I'm saying is something a little my, different now. For my immediate needs, you giving me another 200 grand. All it's going to do is sit in the bank. I ain't going to touch it. I ain't going to use it. Mm. I want the equity. You might pop. The companies might. They fucking. These niggas is on paper. Bill make, Gates. These, are, these niggas is on paper making 70 grand. Mm -hmm. Yo, Bill Gates was fucking <laughs> giving out. They wouldn't give out uh, raises for Microsoft. In the early stages, they would never give out raises. They would give stock. Mm. The secretary's dog oh. was retiring <laughs> up, up. Couple hundred million up. The fucking secretaries, the janitor, up, up. Like, just the other level of up. Because they was getting all stock options when Microsoft was fucking 50 cent a share. On the, uh, back in the day, Monday Night Football, the little Charlie Chapman nigga would kick over the desk and the papers would fly. That's when Microsoft was in the infant stages. And niggas was getting just stock options instead of raising. You got Motrin or something, man? I'm getting sick. Yeah. <laughs> getting sick just listen. No, honestly. Duh. You the secretary... You retire after 20 years, you worth 700 million. It's crazy. Niggas go public on your back and then cash in for Cat fucking man. millions and mm -hmm. hundreds of millions. Mm -hmm. and wasn't there from the rip. And then come offer you fucking five and six. Mm -hmm. You tell me how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. That's nasty. I ain't doing I'm I'm with little Baby. I ain't doing shit without at least asking. We got to ask. Because you know what it is? I yeah. thought about this. I thought about this when I saw the Kodak Black clip. Uh, from his lawyer and him, but Kodak Black in whatever case he had, oh, now he gets a uh, uh, non-reporting probation where you don't have to report to your probation mm. officer or parole officer, so he now has the right to move to any city that he wants to move to, and he's allowed to tour. Mm. And boy, did wow. he have a blast with that information. Sure. He was so excited, so was his attorney. I'm sure. I and never I, even heard of that. And I'm looking at that shit saying... Wow, yo, great that he could tour and get some money now. That, and he, you know he's going to do it. Of course. You know he's going to do Hell it. Yeah. He's huge. He's been a festival killer. I told y'all he needed equity from some of these festivals. Mm -hmm. He about to go crazy. But the freedom now mentally that I can leave Florida mm -hmm. and not have to worry about some of the things. When that type of mind and talent gets some like wiggle room mm -hmm. to yeah. like use your brain for other shit, mm -hmm. he's about to go crazy. He's about to go crazy. I don't think that he doing too much without uh, asking for equity either. Listen, back to my point, though. I was thinking about this when I saw that. Because you know what it is. And if you know, you know. And I know you know. And I know you know because we play enough Monopoly. You know what we are? We're the hotels. That's what we are. We are the hotels. Okay. We bring the people. The people have to fill the hotels. Let's say Parks has Boardwalk and Park Place. He's the company's. So all he got, though, that's it in the game. The house is gone. He don't have shit. For us to come over there and uh, 4X his property value, mm -hmm. well, you're going to have to give up, you're gonna right? You're going to give up some we, 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 yeah. we, yeah. we do this all the time. All the yeah. time. We're going to split this bread. Yeah. 
You so that's what makes me mad. How come we know to do it in Monopoly when the structure is there, but in real life we might skip it or not have the balls to ask for Fear. it? Fear. Or maybe yeah. we all don't Fear. are not yes. hotels yet because you got to work to be a hotel no, yeah. and bring Fear. the people. Fear. Because you have Fear. to have the people. I just was telling you my man that owns the car dealership. He's 44, 45. He got Cadillac, half of Aston Martin, a Mitsubishi dealership, and two or three other used car dealerships. He's 40-something years old. And I asked him what separated him from everybody that was doing it before him. And he said, yo... They were scared to put their own money up. They were just scared to bet on themselves. And that's it. You never know what the fuck you could get until you ask. Some niggas might Well, because then yes. you get the people that own uh, Park Place and Boardwalk, and you make the offer, and they say no. And they ride with it. And, but they out the and game. You say, I'm about to say, what happens after that, though? They out the game. We argued about Jay. We argued about Jay. Talking about uh, when he gave 50% of... The, the liquor shit to Hennessy. Mm-hmm. I remember. Nigga, yo, if you, I got a $50 million business. Mm-hmm. And it's 100% mine. Yeah. But they gonna now put me on every shelf in America and mm-hmm. every shelf overseas. So now my revenue goes from $50 million to fucking 500. Five, <laughs> uh, damn near a billion right. dollars, but I'm getting 50% of it. You do the math, nigga. Yeah. Fifty yeah. percent of a billion, or you want a hundred percent of fifty million? It's it's a no brainer. Right. But what happens is our egos start to play like, man, it's my shit. I own a hundred percent of my shit. Mm-hmm. I ain't selling my shit. My yeah. shit. My all right, cool. You got to play boy. Yeah, ride right with it to the Yeah, if you point. don't get uh, works, you got to play boy. Listen, I'm my my dumb broke ass is sitting there. I'm watching. I'm something going on with Elon Musk. And Twitter, and Twitter. Ha- yeah, something's yeah, happening. Yeah, it's happening. Yes, I'm not wealthy enough to know what's happening. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But I noticed something is yes, happening. He pulled this out is a, a play. Beat on the board. Right? I've seen enough super pumped to know something's going on. <laughs> For real, I just don't know what's yeah, going it's, it's, on. It's above us. No, that's you can, different. You, you watch, you see there's something. That's different there. people business. That's different. We'll, we'll never that's fully know what's going on. They announced that he's joining the board, and not even four days later, they announced that he's not joining mm-hmm. the board as a, a majority shareholder. But he has the most shares. He has the most individual shares of any person. Wouldn't that mean that they didn't give him? He didn't get what he was looking for. Probably. He might not. Or is he more powerful off the board? I don't know because I'm not well. might be a well- conflict of interest that. for some of the shit. Yeah, it's possible. Yo, watching this, all these super pumped shows, like them board fights. They talking about hostile takeovers and shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Those are different fights. And know, know what the crazy part? different part, rules. And know what the crazy part be? Different coercion. Yo, they use, I need your support yes. on the vote. Mm-hmm. Me and That's Corey, why y'all gotta watch I Succession. I need your support. I'm me telling and Corey you, I sat had in to watch Succession. Succession. Look, me, right and, there. me and Corey sat in the car for about an hour and some change the other day when we left. And I'm saying, yo, dog, the dudes on them boards, guess who they best friends be? Senator JoJo from Montana. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, them, that be their college sweet mate. And these niggas be in cahoots. And, yo, that's how shit happens. Mm-hmm. A lot of this shit happens based on that. It don't be based on somebody's innate want to fuck some other people. Just be, yo, oh, my come up is my come up, and these are my niggas, and we moving. Make a phone call. Either you in or you not. Yeah. That's it. These niggas make deals that run the world. We just peons. Hold so 80% of title to square. Yep. Of course he did. Yeah. You fucking right oh, he did. He? You mm-hmm. fucking right. Speaking of hove. That guy's good, yo. He slipped it by me. He slipped it by me. I blew bird money. Mm-hmm. I blew bird money. Mm-hmm. I thought he meant bird. Bird. But that's a triple entendre. Yeah. It's a triple. I, I missed the triple one. I don't have bird man at the tip of my brain. Mm-hmm. That's a real sly way to reply Even though I to saw that. Guru come out and say, no, he wasn't. I, I know. Guru, stop it. I know. Stop it. Guru, stop it. You know Hov, we know Hov. Guru, <laughs> stop it, yo. Stop it. Now I'm calling Guru. <laughs> no. Did I ain't, why they trying to lie to us nah, like that? That's a, that's a nasty triple right there, though. Do I even have Guru's number? Uh, Bluebird money. I don't even have, I don't have Guru's number. I get it, nigga. I'm just saying, that's, I, I heard it the first go. Nah, but that's a sly remark, reply to that interview. See, the niggas like Hov don't forget what you nah, said. Nah, they don't be. No, nigga, you see he shot at fucking... Face on love in the first bar. I don't forget nothing. If you heard it, I if you, you said it. I heard it. They mansion money is on my wall. Don't tell me that, yo. Yo, that's just <laughs> some, that's just some fifteen inch dick shit. Yeah, yeah. What you pay for your house? 
I'm decorating my kitchen with. Mm. Y'all putting me on <laughs> your, 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 your big house. Your big house. Your, 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 your main home. Yeah. 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 Y'all putting me on these lists is inexplicable. <laughs> <laughs> he's disgusted with you niggas, yeah, actually. No. Yeah, he's uh, disgusted. He's disgusted with niggas. You no, know, we the, all over the The little 32 by 48. Yeah. That's what your house costs. No, 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 ish. That's your big house. Uh-huh. The mansion. Mm-hmm. That you the one you pride yourself the, on. No, not, not the house over here, not the vacation house. The, that's your big joint, your yeah. main joint. The one that they that, repo. That's, that one. I have it. Here, look, it's beautiful. That's, <laughs> these niggas are too wealthy for me to understand how they talk, how they play. All of them know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of them know. All of them. And I can't wait to get there. I'm, I'm coming for you. Yo, these you know niggas. what's crazy? I'm coming for No, it's niggas. nuts to me. I'm going to find me. Yo, out. I want to know what it, because like if you got 200 million, right? You up, up. But for, I'd the, say. but for the niggas that be having like three billion, they just look at you like you regular. Oh, nigga, if I, if I look, woke up with two hundred million oh, left, oh, I, I, I mean that's from our position currently. No, I'm saying I'm talking like, about the people you talking about. Yeah, if they woke up with two hundred million, million yeah, yeah, like dogs. Oh, you nice little cutie, two hundred. That's cr- it's scary to even think about. Yeah, I understand why you say it is, and I'm sure it is. But I believe it's that possible. some of those men, it's possible, can't help but work. Like no matter what, what they get to, they get they work even more. But I'm saying not driven, not motivated by the money. Like it's in me. Not, mm. not just that you start to think about other shit at that point. So when they get that certain crazy level of money, right? Mm. Most people are running around maintaining a life, bills. We got to pay bills. So we got to mm-hmm. work. We got to pay bills. We just on a hamster wheel. Right, race, yeah. Yeah, we on a yeah. hamster wheel, right? When these niggas get to that certain level where, think about you wake up, you don't have any demands on your time to survive. Mm-hmm. You could focus your brain and your energy on whatever you want. So some people turn to the philanthropy. Some people be worried about their lineage. And them never, ever, ever having to work no more. So you start thinking about your dynasty and when you leave the earth and da-da-da-da-da. Then some motherfuckers really be like, I want to make the world a better place. You know what I'm saying? So now you can really do what you want. If you're an artist, you can really just you focus on your art. That's why you can mad at Elon Musk, right? You if you had the power to, if I take my money out of this bank, then this bank folds, <laughs> then imagine the type of shit you would be on. It, it unlocks your full potential at that point. Exactly. At that point, there's exactly. literally no roadblocks. You are completely free. You are financially to free to do what you want to do. Yeah, it's easier to make money when you have money. If that's your goal. Yeah. You know but what I'm the saying? Goal might not, but Some when niggas, you're saying the goal might not be to make money. People, yeah. True. Come, come on, walk of fame. Let's do it. I don't think we ever got to it, right? No. No, no, no. we didn't. Okay, so last week I did want to talk about Ashanti, Ashanti receiving a, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh this week, DJ Khaled received a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Let me hit the round of applause whenever my computer comes on. There we go. That's big the, big deal. For Khaled, uh, Puff came out, Hove came out, Fat Joe was there, his wife, his child. Beautiful scene for Khaled. Um, Ashanti, I don't recall last week. But for me, anyway. I'd like to know how they are determining, and, and this has nothing to do with the recipients. Mm-hmm. I would like to know how they're determining who gets a star now versus how they determined that 30 years ago, like when I was growing up. Because back then it just seemed like the so, criteria was different. It, it was seemed, rare. Yeah, it was mad, it was rare, rare and selective. Seemed like you had to be 30, 40 years uh, tenure to be considered seemed like you just had to be top of the 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 class. Uh, and today it feels a little more loose. We say that now. We've done a little bit of research. We see that Denzel does not have a star yet. Mm-hmm. George Clooney, uh, Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. So when you hear some of these names that we're accustomed to in Hollywood. All right. Let me let me, let me me jump in. Give it to me. I'm, I'm, I'm reading here. <clears throat> Anyone, including fans, can nominate anyone active in the field of entertainment as long as the nominee or their management approves the nomination. Nominees must have a minimum of five years experience in the category for which they are nominated in a history of, here here it goes, charitable contributions. That's it. 
makes a little more I'm sense. I'm also reading that they uh they have to pay forty grand, which you know, to a lot of these people yeah, it's not very that's much. Like, forty grand ain't sure. Yeah. That's um, like it's entry fee, it's co check fee. Yeah. But apparently, I mean, from this article, I don't know which one you're reading, ISIS is from real rundown. Mm-hmm. Um they say it's like a, a tedious process, which is why some people don't do it. Like doing the voting, doing the paying, doing the uh, uh, keep it going through the voting process every year. Some people are just like, I don't really give a shit. I don't care about the voting and nomination process. I care about the selection process, mm-hmm. and that feels different. Mm-hmm. These rules may have been all the same the entire time, unbeknownst to me. Mm-hmm. But the selection process feels different today. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm still reading further. I'm actually on the Walk of Fame. Go ahead. Like, uh, it says what they have to include to be nominated. Then it says the committee will select approximately 30 names for insertion into the walk. Nomination of an individual or group must be approved by the Walk of Fame committee, sometimes requiring several annual nominations before a nominee is selected. The most qualified artists nominated are, are eligible for a star to be installed during the subsequent year. Those not selected for the current year are requested to resubmit, blah, blah, blah. Should the sponsor not want to make a second attempt, they must notify. So this just seemed like, man, we just got to okay it. Nah, that's not what it seems like to me. It seems like it's a process. And if it's 100 people, we go through the 30 that, or 200 people, we go through the 30 we want to pick. Now, if it's not, uh, if it's only 40 this year, we picking 30, it could explain how a couple people sneak in there that, okay. and you paid the money. I guess. And it seems like these announcements are coming more frequent, frequent that I agree today. With, yeah. I wonder if there's been a, a social uh, media too. Yeah. Social media will take should. And, but that's a new question. Should social media have an impact on the Hollywood walk of fame? Like we talk about microwave, microwave stars and famous people online. Cool. But when you, you talk about Hollywood walk, of fame, it just didn't, Yeah, that's not. I could have never imagined that sentence being said. Mm-hmm. I agree. Like congratulations uh, to, to Khaled, Ashanti, and everyone who has accomplished enough to be in this conversation. Or, but yeah, now that I hear this, I'm not, I I really can't hate anymore. I just I had a lot of hate over here. Trust me, <laughs> you can still have your hate. No, I just can. wonder if 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 any of this is tied financially to anything charitable con- yeah, contributions. Hmm. One day we'll have a real talk about what charitable contributions mean. I'm gonna tell you like this here. I'm coming for my star. If that's word. You want a star? One hundred. <laughs> if that's if that's if all that's it, it you yeah, damn right. I want a star you with did. my at name on it. You I want it. the at you sign, think, the whole you shit. Did it? You think you did? I got a couple. It's got to be five years. But I I, I just set the you reminder on my phone. Two thousand. Yeah, you ain't getting no spank here. You in there? I get, I can get some spanky away. Oh, okay. They count the strip club count. I gave some away there. <laughs> that was charitable. It's if y'all, very charitable. If y'all think that dudes would just come graffiti all over my star, what y'all think they do to Ice Star? Let it live. Just sit there and bliss. Come, come leave old iPhones on it. Yeah, they wouldn't fuck with my star. They would tear your star up. I'm not getting stars. So we ain't even got a hypothetical that. Wow. <laughs> We'll be visit this. I'm definitely going to look into <laughs> yeah. getting the star when the time comes. If that's, that's all it. it takes, look at the names. Up Come here. on, no man. disrespect to nobody, but nigga, yeah, Aquaman got a star. All these names seem like they played the politics game really well. I don't. Yeah, Michael, what? <sighs> don't you dare say he don't play the game well. I didn't. No, 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 no. I'm just looking at the names who got the stars. I'm not. No, he plays. He, he is the game. He got Black Panther two green lit with the fucking lead dying. He plays the game. Rest in peace, Chadwick. Come on, any music? Any music y'all want to discuss? Come on, let's talk. No, I don't think no, what, nah. any, anything Because I'm going to just talk nah. about, man, random shit. I like random shit. Come on. Random is cool. Like more random, random shit? More random shit. Let's go. Yeah, y'all just want me to pull them out of my ass. No, <laughs> I thought you had like a, a little random I mean, topic. I, I can keep going. I mean, I got a funny story. Not really a funny story, but uh, I got a story I can share. You going to make it funny? No, it's not really funny. This is, uh, and we can get to Gillian Wiz. I think that's kind of funny. Uh... No, I want to shout out the entrepreneurs, right? Because that's that's so cliche to say now. Yeah. And everybody says it, so you have a hard time of differentiating who's really about entrepreneurial life mm. and who is not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? A lot of people not. A lot honestly. of people not. They fine. They don't but they don't know at first. So I just been in my head, I think I might have shared with y'all, just searching for an extra barber. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Just searching for an extra barber. And the Instagram algorithms heard me, but not just any extra barber. I'm looking for a black barber, mm-hmm. right? 
And the Instagram algorithms put some black barber in my feed. They heard me. So I clicked on the shit. He in there drawing on people's faces and shit. He looked like he had some good stuff going on. So I DM him. I didn't send him the eyes. I don't send men I don't know the eyes. I'm proud of you for that. I, I, I have, to, I have, I have to know growth. you. That's gross. That's gross. Yeah. I have to like really know you to send you the eyes. No, just don't send it. But go ahead. Shut up. <laughs> you, you can size him up if you So know. I hit him. I was like, yo. I, 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 I. He was like, yeah, whatever. We can do whatever. And his, his automated response after he was talking sent me some app. It was an mm-hmm. app. Mm-hmm. The barber app. Yeah, a lot of them are using apps. It's a barber app. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's dope. It's black on. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. So now I'm searching the app. It's mad barbers in there. You can mm-hmm. just search like barber Uber. It's dope. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. When I start clicking around and shit, I think my shopping cart said like $300. I thought I pressed the wrong button or something. <laughs> oh, I Because you got to book your shit. So, the- so you book your appointment. You book what you want and all that. It, it totaled like $300. i am sure I did something wrong, but I didn't go through with it, right? Mm-hmm. Long story longer. Uh, so he gets back to talking, not the automated response. Uh, he sends he sends the address. It's a suite, mm. so I pay attention to that. Mm. It's a suite. I remember, I remember. There's a couple of barber shops in Chicago. Black brothers out there. It's the suite. You go up the building. It's a suite, not mm-hmm. a barber shop, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? So I meet him up in the morning, parking lot. He says, "Pull into the back. You're gonna come up the back door. There's parking there." I say, "Oh, the guy's attentive." <laughs> That's important. Yeah. This is this is this is me. So yeah. you got parking for me? Awesome. Cool. I get there. This guy pulls up. Two door coupe. My old shit. Milk white. Mm. Matt. Jamming. Some house. The morning. Good vibe in the morning. He got out. I said, boy, I used to have a lot of fun in that car. He said, Oh yeah, yeah. First time meeting this guy. He's got on what appears to be. He's got on like a black button down, black slacks, but it looked like you almost look like he could might have been coming from a club. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's fitted businessman, and he got this like vest on, and on the back of the shit it says Millennium Barbers. I thought it was cute. I thought he was in some type of biker gang. <laughs> I said, "Oh, a little biker guy." I said, "Hey, man, what's that?" He says, "My clothing line." I said, "Oh, all right, you got like a barber clothing line." He says, yeah. I said, all right, you making capes and shit? He said, no. He said, I'm making clothes. <laughs> I'm not making barber capes. All the barbers come out and put out barber clothes. Mm. I'm making clothes that are comfortable, that you could work in and go out in and be seen in. I said, oh, like Lulu Lemon. He said, yeah, somewhere like that. Right? This nigga hit him with the Lulu. <laughs> but I'm, I'm blown away. <laughs> Hey, I got you. This nigga talking. I said, hey, how old are you? He said, I'm 30. Black guy, Mm -hmm. good shape, beard. We go up. Nice, nice sweep. It's only two chairs. Mm -hmm. Two chairs. How the fuck is he affording? What are you doing? But they don't be that expensive. Wait, how the fuck is he affording this lifestyle for one time with two chairs? I get asked the questions. You know me. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Where do that? No, no, we don't open for another two hours. I came here early for you. Got it, cool. So you only got this one chair? Well, yeah, in this shop. But up the street, um, opening my grooming lounge. 2,700 square feet. Uh, it's going to have a pool table in there. Uh, it's going to be networking in there, a juice bar. A, vibe. a juice bar. A Upstairs, vibe. we'll do the grooming. and blah, 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 Two floors. Dope. <laughs> so you, you fucking you up. You like, no, I've fuck. never heard a barber... He's 30 years old. This is a new age today, mm-hmm. today armed info barber. Yeah. I never heard this. Mm-hmm. I'm coming from barber shops. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like most of us are. Yeah. yeah. So this was interesting to me. So he says, yeah, I'm opening up the grooms. I said, when you open? He said, Juneteenth. It's all right. He said, yeah, it's important because we don't have the resources. Blah, 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 blah. He said, yeah, I take, I, um, what we do is, because he's just talking now. Mm-hmm. He said, um, I said, well, how'd you get popular? He said, I went to Willie P. I live out here, and my frat brothers kind of blew me up. I said, so you're in a frat? So yeah, I'm alpha. And he explained how they promoted him. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, that's the first time that I think I've ever heard somebody explain to me, like, 
exactly where that brotherhood that paid off for shit. them uh-huh. professionally. No, uh-huh. no, gotcha. Gotcha. And then he went deep. It's almost like I hit a chord. Mm-hmm. And he said, nah, me and all my brothers, we link up. We still speak to this day. Mm-hmm. Or we got kids. Mm-hmm. They know each other. I don't believe my, my mom died. And he's telling me a story. It's like, yo, we got brothers in Nigeria. Got brothers Everybody. over here. Mm-hmm. We give back every Thanksgiving. We do. I do free haircuts at the Y. I said, how do you have time to do free haircuts at the Y? He said, because I allocate the time or my off time to go up there and give Free haircuts. He said, I got a nonprofit. <laughs> like, he's just going crazy, yo. Uh, these, young, these young niggas ain't playing with them. They're going to be the, I just had this conversation. They are going to be Trey and them. And the niggas right below Trey in that age group, they're going to change the world. They're going to change the world because they are, they are embracing information, yo. They're going to change the planet. He said, I used to work in a barbershop. He said, uh, they're not as safe as they seem. I said, well, well, what do you mean? Because they don't really seem this, the safest to me. Right. Say, yeah, maybe from that aspect. But for me, like, I do some people that don't really want to be seen. Like, let's take police for a uh, policeman, for instance. I used mm. to be a cop. He said, I was a cop for a year. Mm. So I didn't, I didn't want to do that. So I have some police who, let's say they done locked somebody up, and now they come in here, and, and the nigga's whole family is in here. Yeah, like, right, right. it just got a little dangerous. I said, wow, really? He said, yeah, and I can't work in no shop. I said, well, why not? He said, because whoever owned the shop is going to take advantage of me. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? That's true. He said, well, when I get in the shop, they're going to see my clientele. So let's say they charge X amount of dollars for the seat. When I have 50 and 60 and 70 people coming in, that price is going up, and I'm never going to get my, so I got to get out the shop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in there blown we know it happens, That's but I just never think of it expensive. from their this side. Because mm. my man had a suite in South Orange, and they not barbers make a lot of Fam, money. My during name. the pandemic, when they shut down the barber shops, yeah, niggas start going in. Niggas basements. started go, not even that. Niggas started getting little sweet spots. Yeah. in these little office buildings. And this is in Orange. Oh yeah, I know a nigga that renovated his whole basement during mm. the pandemic. He had money, mm-hmm. renovated his whole basement, and never went back to the barbershop. He basically took his clientele and had them now come to my basement, yep. and that's where I cut hair. If you got a hundred clients at forty dollars a pop, nigga, it's four grand a week. Mm-hmm. You ain't paying that. No I'm more. just saying. I'm just giving he you said, an example. He said, "Yeah, I'm train." He said, "I, I got uh, a few chairs over there. I'm training all the barbers now for when we open." I said, "Training." I said, "Why would you be training versus hiring people?" that already know what they're doing. He said, because those people come in individualized and they're not looking to stay. Mm-hmm. With me, I always want to create family. I do give backs to the people, to, to people that work for me. We have programs to where, like, so it's a family thing. It incentivizes them to stay. And if I teach them how to be the best, then we'll do that here together versus somebody coming in and using the platform and the resources. Mm. He said, because outside of being a barber, I'm a resource. Mm. I'm a tool. So people from the community, they come in here and they need a job. Like, all I do is sit and talk to people. And with my brotherhood, I probably know anybody in whatever field you're trying to get in. So it's just about building a resource. So- and then, Yo, this is during my haircut. And he, he's 30. <laughs> no, the most At important 30 thing, years 30. old. Yeah. For one hour straight. Mm-hmm. I was just blown away by the That's dope. thinking. Mm. That's dope. Oh, and I thought this was be uh was an appropriate time to play the fucking uh uh Steve Harvey clip if this guy's Wi-Fi ever gets right. Yeah, there it is. The dude that gave me my first haircut in Texas, you know how much he charged me you for my clip? haircut? No. Ten dollars. Do you know when he came out on the road with me on the Kings of Comedy and did the Steve Harvey show? Do you know how much he was making per haircut? Fifteen hundred dollars a haircut. You know how many haircuts I got a week? Four haircuts a week. This dude made six thousand dollars a week cutting hair. You know what he do? He cut hair. When I went bald, he damn near killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what he did? He went back to what he do. Now guess what he got? He got four salons in Texas and two barber colleges. You know what he make? Six million dollars a year. You know what he do? He He cut cut hair. hair. That's all he do. Listen to me. Y'all got a gift that God gave to you. All right, that's when he get in his mushy bag. But I'm just blown away by it's by not the the, not the tools, not the but the thinking. Mm -hmm. It changed what like Ish keeps saying. The information, like they've seen in every field, damn near. Young people have seen the generation before them 
just get taken advantage. He knew if I go work at a shop, they're going to take advantage of me. Mm -hmm. A lot of time, niggas don't know that. They don't know they're getting taken well, advantage I, of. I asked my man. It's information, bro. My, my bad. And they changing shit. But go ahead. Go ahead. You go. I asked my man. My man, the, the dude I sent you the Cadillac. He's mm -hmm. young. He's yeah. my man. I know him for 20-something years. Mm -hmm. And he was working at a car dealership mm -hmm. um, for some for the Russians. Like, they had a car broker. Mm -hmm. And he, he said they basically taught him everything he knew. Right? And I said, yo, but mad dudes do the auto broker shit. Mm -hmm. I said, yo, what separated you from them? He said, yo, they were scared to take risks. So when you go work at a shop, a barber shop, mm. they got the overhead. They paying the rent. You just renting a booth. You renting a chair. Right. But now when you leave them to go open up your own shit, nigga, you jumping off the cliff. And you might not be able to fly. And people be scared to, to, to understand I got wings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So he that boy. Work, working at the barber shop, if they, my, with my clientele, if I want to work on the day that you close, they charging me extra. They're trying to bang <laughs> me over there. Like they just do a lot. So now I could just go. Once I got clientele, I could go rent a $800 a month suite. It's mm -hmm. easy for me. And I'm going to decorate it the way I want. I could lay the floors down the way I, I could just have a dope-ass little sweet couch. You got, you got Nipsey in there on blast yeah. the whole time. It's his. Young, it's young, his. young, young it's black his. man. Yes. Just, and, and it's ran right, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, And it's called keeping the hands, so I might as well plug him. Yeah. Um, but what he also said to me now that I just probably have thought about but never to that degree, he said, also, I do it this way because, believe it or not, the Spanish niggas have a monopoly on the barbershops in Jersey. They have a monopoly on Essex County. In <sighs> Essex County. I'm, yeah. They definitely do. Yep. And they they popping run, up left. The Dominicans yeah. are running Essex County yes, in barbershops. 100%. That's crazy. Yeah, I think yeah, it's Maybe. I, think maybe, it's, I don't know. It I, ain't I, just Essex. Most I don't know. Most he might, he might be right. Too. They might be right. Especially around our hood. It's like four of them. Right there you know, on 9th and Central. I was going there. Like, I was at the shop in Inglewood in 03. Yeah, you're right. That's true. Johnny. True. Johnny. Shout out to Johnny, friend of the show, my guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love him. But yeah. There you do. But as a as, when you just go get a haircut, don't you just don't think about all no, this. No, but shit, this is yo. what happens. I'm drying up the vagina no, talking, no, no. talking about haircuts, but I think it's interesting. It's a business conversation. It's business. Yeah. Dog, what's happening is, and I say it all the time in construction, we say it on the show. The shit that you do manually with services is being swept under the rug and damn near shunned for Yo, you ain't got no college degree. No, nah, nigga, I'm a bar. Johnny makes money and been getting money for 20 fucking 30 years. You better believe it. That nigga's been getting money. So again, like, yo, dog, dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Jokers are out here making millions of dollars doing small shit services. Steve Harvey just said this nigga cuts hair. He makes $6 million a year mm -hmm. cutting hair. Then it's another, another nigga in Philly that got like a grooming situation. Killing him in Philly. Mm -hmm. Killing him. Two floors. 20 Shit. seats. We, you know uh, Omar. Yeah. Sure. Oh, was Say, killing him. Was killing. He was killing him. Killing up here. Moved down to Atlanta. Got an entire yeah. compound down there yeah. of salon, barbershop, uh, the whole shit. Aesthetics, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. he said it's not about the, the haircut. It's about the experience, experience and being a resource. He's like, I be talking to guys. They be like, yeah, what's your barber name? And niggas be like, yo, I don't know. And he look at them like they're crazy. I'm like, yo, you sit with that person once, twice a week. For how many years, and you don't even know nothing about them. But what happens with barbers is they start to become too arrogant. They arrogant as fuck, my nigga. When they start getting to that bread, they start being arrogant, and that's where the customer service piece comes in that we lacking. Even yo, in the fucking cleaners, a dry cleaner, you might just like your cleaner. He might not even clean your clothes the best, uh -huh. but the relationship that you have with him determines if you gonna stay. Everybody cl clean clothes, my nigga. But you feel a certain level of camaraderie or, or, or rapport with your people that give you good customer service. It's our pergola talk. Yeah, but you know what? It is. Some of the arrogant ones, at least they be good, right? They good. On the flip side of that coin, you run into people that are doing a service just because that's all they know how to do. Mm -hmm. And they're not the happiest doing that job. That's true. Because all they can see are the glass ceilings that come with the job. Mm -hmm. So you say barber to somebody that don't really know nothing about it, and you think, what, 100 grand a year? or I'm, I don't know. Nah, bro. yeah, nah. Some of these niggas is, yo, bro. This gentleman's brain. It's math. If you got 100 clients. You compute none of that. If you got 100 clients at $40 a head. Mm. It's four grand. A week. 100 clients, a lot of people. That's a lot. That's 100 Some of them niggas got them. Some of these niggas Yeah, got but them. that's the other thing. With inflation, 
It's in the barbershop. So now the prices is up. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I was just... Especially if I'm coming to you, mm -hmm. if I provide a different type of... Like, these haircuts is 100 Yo, and up. And that nigga said 50, 200, 250. He said Some of these celebrity section. niggas, they on there in the blog, so I paid $1,000 for this. I'm like, nigga. On the road, I paid like 500 for a bad cut one time in Atlanta. <laughs> and had to just go get another cut right after. But did it. What happened? No, they talking about... Um, we see it uh, the hair service period, like grooming. I see women complain all the time on social media about people jumping out, being becoming entrepreneurs, just to make a shitload of money quick. So, what where they used to go? I know my homegirl cut her hair because she she moved to Houston and was like, "Yo, I can't fucking fuck with them. They want four six hundred dollars for something that used to cost me sixty bucks. Mm. Like everybody's just pricing themselves out because this is the fad right now." It's good to be known as a uh, celebrity stylist. Yeah. So I'm doing, I do hair. My price has got to be up here to justify me saying I'm a, I'm, I'm a certain type of stylist. A lot of barbers are doing that. Yo, the shop that I, the shop that I go to, now I know what I pay for a cut. Shut up. Because they be killing me every time I say barber shop. <laughs> I seen a dude that was sitting in there and he was charging niggas like $60 for just some regular cut in a hood barber shop. The only person charging them prices and was like, yo, nah, my, my, my clientele is my clientele. That nigga lasted a week, damn near. Yeah, you like, yo, you're yeah. not coming in here. Like, they take walk-ins still. You the only one with nobody in your chair. Yo, my man, you, you got somebody? Nah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah well, it's, it's $65 for me. Nigga, what? Nah, shout out to these barbers, man. Y'all out here getting it. And not just the barbers, but... Everybody. Mm -hmm. Nail every tech, everybody. The, the, the personal the service, grooming. Service industry in general, service honestly, industry. yeah. Shouts to the people that's really passionate and making this they they livelihood, they life, yeah. and trying you know and trying to give great service, trying to keep this customer coming back. Like it said, the relationship. Because mm -hmm. for every one of those, it's somebody out there that's doing the opposite. That's just oh, yeah, they making money over there. Right. Let me go run in there and do it too. Right. Just to make a couple dollars. Yeah, I agree. All right, so where we at? What what, what we got? What we well, got? We did the sad, Walk of sad Fame. Stuff. We got some sad stuff to talk about. Rest in peace, Dwayne Haskins. Man. I'm saying that way sooner than I would like to say it. Prayers, thoughts, condolences, love to his family, friends, fans, the Pittsburgh organization, Ohio mm -hmm. State organization. Yeah. Washington. Washington. Yeah. Washington. Uh -huh. Like, that has to be sad. 24 years old. Yes. Yo. Right, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm off no, the head. Yeah, 24. He'd be 24. 25 on May 3rd. 24 years old. You're correct. Uh, I shared a lot of Dwayne's Haskins jokes with Ice because his quarterback shit, but mm -hmm. the this was this this was unexpected, mm -hmm. abrupt. It's a child. Right? Super sad to see. Mm -hmm. I can't. I, I I just always think of what the family thinks. Like when you're when you, what if you learn this while scrolling. Because these news outlets act so fast. Right. Like, they're getting the news probably before the proper channels have the chance to report it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. properly to the family. And, and that's sickening to me. They got the medics and shit in pocket. That's what a lot of this is. They, that's, they, why, they have that's why I like the Vanessa responders. Bryant lawsuit against the helicopter company. Exactly. Yes. No, y'all can't take these pictures and just do what you want. Mm -hmm. Word. Oh, man. Bro, I remember when Kobe passed. Remember? We were we in your house. We playing Monopoly. You was there? We was together. And, and they was just putting out fake reports. And Rick Fox was like, yo, his family was going crazy because, remember, there was a report right, that Rick Fox, Fox was on the plane. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. And so you reporting fake news, sending people's family in a shock, damn near, mm -hmm. without properly vetting the information or, or giving it to their family first. Like, that's some crazy shit, dog. Hit by a dump truck. <laughs> oh, he's working out, right? Well, I've, heard, I've 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 yeah. read numerous stories. At first, it was a, a car accident. Mm -hmm. Then I heard he was jogging, working out. Like I don't know what happened. I, I just know life was right lost here. and a young life. A oh, yeah, kid. That's uh, what I know. With the world, the future, and promise. Yeah, man. Right the, in front the, of him. the particulars of it don't really matter to me. Agreed. Um, and you know, you speak <clears throat> people rushing to just say some shit. Like I don't like how. A couple of these reporters Adam Schefter Adam you're Schefter fucking disgusting and you facts. need to be held accountable that was nasty it was that was nasty because you are the guy that we get our football news from uh -huh. right 
So if you don't know that this needs to be reported delicately and not like you're just reading analytics, right? it was tasteless, it was tone deaf, uh, he deleted the tweet, but it didn't matter. Once you hit send, you hit send. Exactly. Adam Schefter said, I won't even repeat no, what don't, he said. No, don't, don't, no, 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 no. He apparently apologized on his podcast, but, too, which is weird, because like, now you're kind of using it to draw people there instead of just tweeting it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, Not only that, so he, he after... You know, people screenshot the original tweet. He went and retyped it over and cleaned it up. Uh-huh. But then he had he turned this little safety feature they have on Twitter on that auto blocks anybody that mentions the old tweet. Mm. So people that was like, "Nah, dog, we saw that," you automatically blocked. Like you ain't really accountable for nothing. Like you, just, I don't want to see this no more. It just don't exist. Like I could say what I want and fuck it. So people like it's Adam Schefter shouldn't be able to report on. Our culture, he should report on his. And if they view everyone as the player or a number such and such, then fine, y'all do that over there. But when death is involved, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would just think you'd have more class, tact. tact. Yeah. yeah. And he's and not it, even and the worst and one. It, and it, he wasn't alone. No. He wasn't the worst. The worst. Well, no. at least the other dude apologized faster than Adam Schefter, and that doesn't make it any better for he what said he said. Worse shit, he, said yeah. he said terrible yeah. shit, bro. He, he weren't worse was, shit. You saying that about a child, yo? Yeah, about a young man? A kid. I I can't. I don't understand it. Rest in peace to Dwayne Haskins. Absolutely. Love to those that loved him. Our hearts are heavy as a community. This could be anybody. This could be our kid. Bro, this could have. This could have like, been us. Took the words out of my mouth. Word. That's not. This literally could have been one of us. Guilford Godfrey. Rest in peace, Gilbert Godfrey. Passed as well. Rest in peace, Gilford, uh, Gilbert. Gilbert Godfrey. Mm-hmm. Comedian. One of the most famous 90s voices. 90s legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that voice you just know. Uh huh. We are heartbroken to announce the passing of our beloved Gilbert Godfrey after long illness. In addition to being the most iconic voice in comedy, Gilbert was a wonderful husband, brother, friend, and father to his two young children. Although today is a sad day for all of us, please keep laughing as loud as possible in Gilbert's honor. And I always think of that when it comes to death, right? Mm-hmm. Because my my baby, my baby is such a daddy's boy, man. I'd say it all the time. He just follows me around everywhere when I'm gone. Where's daddy? Where's daddy? Daddy's coming. I would hate to leave anybody with the task of having to explain to my young child that I'm never returning. Yeah, that's a lot. Bro. I can't think about that. I'll, I'll cry right now. That is that's a lot. tough. That is a lot. And how people like not to try to super satin us out. Yeah, know. Well, let me find I, out. Yeah, yeah, I know. I lost my uncle last year. Mm-hmm. His daughter was six months old when he passed. You know, his fiance is a, a abrupt change to life. She still hasn't really recovered. Like the family trying to be there, but dog, we had life figured out this way. We mm-hmm. we were doing. You're gone. I'm stuck with a child by myself, and how do I explain? Like, she's looking for Dada. Mm-hmm. Like, she goes up to the refrigerator and points and says Dada, still. Like, just like that. Listen. Yeah, yeah, cue us up, man. Yeah, no, I got us. I got us right My here. fault, y'all, man. Yeah. And then I wake up to mad New York news. Uh, when I woke up, it was six people uh, murdered in Brooklyn. I don't know if murder no, shot, no. shot. 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 I don't know if any casualties yeah, have been right. officially reported yet. It was shot. Hours later, that six turned into 13. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, there was a man in a gas mask and a construction outfit. There were bombs. There were bullets. It was catastrophe, utter chaos on the way to work. Mm. Rush hour hour. in New York on a beautiful day in New York. That's terrifying. When I turned the news on, they had all types of uh, 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 cops, ambulance, firemen, feds. There were different teams out there trying to put this together. What was disturbing to me is that they had not found the suspect. I believe he's still alive. By the time I'm reporting. Yeah. Nope, still at large. They've shut down the trains in Jersey City. They've shut down the trains like to and fro. The cameras won't even work at the station. Mom, all, I, all my mom could say is, thank God I don't take the train anymore. And as she said it, all I could say in my head was, no, thank God you don't. 
Mm-hmm. Again, we say it with mental health, with crime, with just this is a mess, man. It just kills me. Like we we keep reading MTA getting grants and all this money to do X Y Z. Now they come out with a report that the cameras wasn't even working in the station. Right, and they have. I've, I've, read a tweet and I don't know if it's fully accurate but they said they have like 3,000 police patrolling the subway system in New York on Mm -hmm. a daily basis right I could be right it sounds like it could be so many it's so many of them and then some of the stations are huge Mm -hmm. so when you start talking about Penn Station it might be 500 cops in there any given time right the shit is just that big you know what I mean yo if the public really started to get familiar with the budgets attached to policing and schools and Just some of the mm-hmm. government aided shit. Like I think it'd be pandemonium. No, you know what happens? Um, again, just on some political shit. The worse off the town, the less informed the citizens are because again, they're just trying to survive. The least shit on your fucking mind. Though. And somebody was trying to tell me how much every kid is worth in school, and yeah. I was blown away. And, and some of the and so that's when you start going into my man sits on the board of housing. In um, Wachong, New mm-hmm. Jersey. Oh, mm-hmm. you might not be familiar, but and he was like, "Yo, before they decide on what gets built, they have that discussion. Like, so when the, when the um, lower income, remember like Dave Chappelle shit, the lower income shit, and so they have to decide. Yo, listen, they not gonna pay a certain tax burden, but if we estimate sixty kids are gonna be living in that complex, then that's sixty times." 47,000 whatever the number for the year is now that's a burden on the city right so if they're gonna come in under those programs we're not gonna be able to um take their tax burden so no mm. and that's how they decide some of that shit sometimes it's so, crazy so bro. Dollars, it's a dot it's, so it's, it's everything is bread yeah even back to the the police that work in the subway a lot of them are there to catch people jumping the turnstile or uh crack down on homeless people hanging out in the subway mm-hmm. not right. there to prevent yeah. Catastrophe. Mm-hmm. Correct. We're here to, where can we write some tickets, get some money? Right. Uh, this was a funny beef, Gilly and Wiz <laughs> Khalifa. I thought it was settled, so I didn't think I'd have to come in here and really speak on it. Gilly got his page back. Mm. Um, Wiz said some slick shit back. That was interesting because I never hear slick shit from Wiz. But when you say I didn't get that child Instagram deleted, you're talking about an adult man. That can get a little spicy. Hey, Wiz and been all in the this, gym for and a long time. Yeah, but my Let's thing get is, spicy. this is why this is funny to me as a man. Like, this ain't even a real beef. Nobody, this ain't a beef, tension, misunderstanding. They talking about a nigga's boxer briefs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was, right? He was working out in boxes. Yeah, and then he Gilly, was said, and Gilly said, it. yo, I had to unfollow dude, man. It's just too much <laughs> legs and boxers for me on my timeline. <laughs> I understand that. It just don't get tricky until your page get missing and now we start blaming niggas. Uh, but this is resolved. I don't care about this, man. It's more important shit in the world to talk about than niggas having a fake beef over who wears boxer briefs too yeah, much. Yeah, like T.I. at the Barclay. More important shit. New Yorkers is ignorant, right? <laughs> don't bring man, that to New York. Learn man. you something. <laughs> that don't work up here. New Yorkers will learn you something, yo. T.I. Yeah. T. Oh. performed at the Barclays. He was booed. They booed him. He went into his bag of tricks, started performing swagger like us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yo, come on, man, we hit 24s, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, come on, give me, the, give me the slaps. When you see me in the dicket, you do not me. Hey, I thought this was a comedy. <laughs> I thought he was doing comedy, yo. Uh, the April Fool's Comedy Jam. I want to shout out to T.I. I don't have nothing bad to say about him because I'm, I'm, I admire what he's doing. He's trying some shit. Yeah, I can't do it, though. But right. he's really dedicating himself to doing it with actual comedians. And he's not saying no to the big stage that he probably should have said no to. Mm. Yeah, and those the gangster I, shit. I do not believe that T.I. is ready. Sir, you can come in. You sit down. You smell like the whole fucking bag is on. <laughs> That's that good. They put some good shit in uh, Newark now. It's Atlanta weed. <laughs> you smoking Atlanta, Atlanta weed? Yo, fucking uh, I don't think that Ti, where he is now, should be in front of twenty thousand at the Barclays. No, in New York, he's been doing comedy for what a couple months, like publicly. I, I think Ti, to our knowledge, but I mean, knowledge. he's running around oh, no. with the up and comers, and he's playing that circuit in Atlanta. Yeah, like honing his shit, like getting it right. So oh. to jump from that to the Barclays in New York with the set. 
April Fool's Because for him, he was saying, you know, part of T.I.'s shit is the big vocabulary and how he talks, so he's up there giving a definition of words. <laughs> yeah, no. No. <laughs> not to know Brooklyn niggas on not, April 1st. <laughs> not, not, no. Nah. No, you're not about to go tell a bunch of Brooklyn niggas what words mean and think that they about to just hardy har har har. Get no. your ass off the stage expeditiously, nigga. But he, ha- you but he handled it well. He got in his records. He did an interview with Michael Blackson. He handled it with grace. And he can say he did it. And he did it. You got to do that's it. All. You gotta do it. That's, that's all. That's what I was trying to say. Like, he could just say, yo. Well, that's why I don't right, have nothing to say. Me. Because if I'm trying to do comedy and stand up and that's the Barclay the- stage is there, I'm not running from yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Dog, any comedian, getting booed is part... For part the of the gig, true. It's part for the course. Well, any entertainer, yeah. It's not just comedy. comedian specifically. Though. Oh, if you a comic, you got your ass booed, my I nigga. Mean, on top of it, experience is the best teacher, right? That is true. Like, you, if I'm a, if I'm an athlete and I'm in the eighth grade, I'd rather play with high school players than eighth graders. Yeah, I'm gonna be better. And I'm gonna though. get dunked on, and I'm gonna get. You my ever got booed as a rapper? Yeah, for sure. Nah, I've never got booed. Actually, I'm lying. But <laughs> I, 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 I've fuck been, up, man. I haven't got booed, but I've been. I in ain't spots never where got booed. Because I can rap. Boo, sir. <laughs> they never nah, boo you. Boo. They never, you ain't never get booed when you like forgot one of them lines or something. Niggas was, niggas was a little yeah, hot. They talk nah, bad about this booed, But I've been in spots where it wasn't a lot of people there or something like that. I mean, something to the same sense degree of that. Mm. But experience is the best teacher. I'd have booed you, sir. You're my guy, man. I'd have booed you two or three oh, times. Oh, wait. I'm, I ain't doing comedy and money bag yo's on the bill. Bill, I'm getting these hits. <laughs> 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 wait, what the? I see what that. That Clifford. <laughs> that Clifford I'm gonna, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get on this bill yeah. One way or another nigga Nah I'm getting my hits off In front of money bag Yo mm-hmm. You shitting me <laughs> No 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 I ain't just getting into my jokey, jokey joke bag Shout out to everybody That was on this car Shout out to T.I. For pursuing his dream Word. And doing a good job at it uh, What else is there We got in the nasty Adam Schefter mm-hmm. uh, yeah. We got a T.I. We got in the Wiz What else was on the back Come ice, on y'all Ice Cube <laughs> Bro. I'm trying Listen man <laughs> You digging up Ice Cube's old projects, man? Hey, they dig up my old tweets. Hey, <laughs> hey let me just tell you. Hey, yo, dog, he, he, you won't want... be, he won't be the only one to do it. That's true. I'm sure. Let me let me just tell you. We were just talking about this. Hey, Ice Cube, I ain't Ice Cube's gangster, so I don't watch my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I niggas are gonna dig Friday up and put it out without his permission, and I hope he knows that it's coming. Oh no, they're gonna take every Friday. story that I see on television mm. is someone's life that's alive and their work and their movie. Sometimes without their consent or permission. True. So I already see the rumors going around. Hey, there's a new Friday, and Ice Cube come right out and say, "Oh, the fuck it is. <laughs> Hell, if it is, ain't none of that happening." Oh, you just don't know, King. It's yeah, a new Friday coming. It's coming. It's coming, and I hope he's ready for it. But you're talking about the, uh, Black White. Black White. The uh, show that none of us knew existed. That Ice Cube was a an executive EP. producer on. Correct. Where the white family is in blackface and the black family is in whiteface. I just uh, that's why I don't have anything to say. <laughs> Tossing the parts. This is a <laughs> our great race relations. <laughs> I have nothing to say. This is crazy because what's the point? Like to see how everyone's treated. It's amazing, like, huh? It's I amazing. Think it's dope. I think it's super dope that you'll really get a real, not somebody telling you. Uh experience you'll get a real experience on how other people view you so a lot of times you think any of these people makeup is believable that's what I was saying no, first of all it's real makeup even, artists it's even in the slightest instance though we talking about driving past somebody any of driving that. past a cop anything uh-huh. like somebody grab, 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 then, grabbing a pocketbook when you walk by entertainment right. now is really being on top I'm not saying it makes sense or it's a hit but right. everything is everybody trying shit like, this is Matt old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everybody trying shit. Like, it, it, they try some shit that might be stupid as shit, but it's not like. No, thank you know, for that okay. really intelligent I think if this, deep dive. Everybody I think just trying shit. This came out years ago. Uh-huh. I think if it came out today, yeah. it would it would catch. I think if it came out today in this social climate, it would catch way more than it wait, did. Wait, 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 I don't think the thought of it, I'm not even talking about what I'm seeing. I don't think the thought of it is crazy. this came out today, it's not catching. Yes, it's, it is. No, no, no. Niggas like are going to jail. A, a skinny chick chubby. Fam, you know, they would lose their mind. No, I, I, I get you know the concept. This is cancel culture. Are you crazy? This can't come out today. I they would lose their shit. They I trying disagree. to get. They trying to cancel it now. And it's been canceled. No, I disagree. <laughs> Fam, I you are severely under. Especially, on, especially on one of the Hulu's or the Netflixes or Ain't no more Zeus. They, Ain't Zeus. Zeus. Ain't no more Zeus. Zeus. They not touching Apollo, this with a ten foot pole to make a bunch of slim chicks like you put fat suits on for a week or something like that. I kind of think it's no different. 
You know what I mean? And obviously, it got to be some type of better looking, you know, because it'll be today, but... I don't think I don't think the thought of this is whites. crazy. No, it's a constru- it's a narrative. It's a cultural narrative. <laughs> you hear me? This guy's so stupid. Y'all in bed with the whites. No, it's a cultural narrative that you could show somebody like, yo, if I was, if I, you would take some skinny girls uh-huh. and you. Listen, I get make it. Like them up. Now well, you I just see don't know the that. prejudice and the and the and the, and the mean Watch shit that comes along. Past you yes. when, like we yes. put a bodysuit on you, yep. and and you a chick that's used to walking in the. It's trading places all over again. Exactly, that's yeah. all I'm saying. Similar. I just don't think I'm it's talking crazy. about that concept ain't flying today. That's what I mean. I, I disagree. Niggas I in black You think this is, is like, look at, the, look at these transformations. Look at this. Yeah, look that's that. why I'm not paying attention to that part of it, but the thought <laughs> that's process. The trade, that's the trading part for me. Some yeah. horrible makeup. Uh, a, tra- a trading place. Let me ask y'all a silly saying. question. Please. I promise I'm not trying to get like really deep and racy, but I have to ask. Y'all really believe that there's a such thing as white face? Fuck no. Like if I what the fuck? If I go paint my face white uh-huh. and walk outside and try to get a little bit of privilege, y'all think it'll work? Nah, they I've seen if the makeup is done right. If the makeup is good, you will. Yeah. Professional Wait, Hollywood. If I have makeup, the yeah. Hollywood producers yeah, yeah, on my yeah, face, then yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. mean nigga me with the mascara. No, <laughs> I'm talking about the <laughs> real shit. Oh, you trying to look like a mind. Real shit, nigga. You'll yeah. be in the fucking no. You be in the fucking cafeteria hearing the real conversations that's going on. Yeah, because they don't think you white. I mean, yeah, they don't think they'll you hear the real shit that's going so on. So you hear some shit that you wouldn't hear if your black self sat there. Yeah. The cafeteria, another New York hot spot that hated the blacks that y'all just ran to because they had lobster mac and cheese. Boy, what y'all blacks would do for lobster mac and cheese. <laughs> Hey, Ish. Hey, Ish. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Hey, I was yeah, in that bitch every night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Every oh, night. Jesus, but what you man, talking man, about? Man. I ain't standing no long. Uh, nigga, look at you. <laughs> my, I, my, I was with <laughs> Hood, nigga. You wouldn't. <laughs> I was with <laughs> Newark's finest. Let, and we ain't standing no right. line, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Uh, what do y'all think about Chris Rock saying they got to pay me a big bag before I talk about the Oscar slap? Clap the button. Hit, hit him some claps. Pay me. Yeah, you're a prostitute. Yeah. I told you niggas. <laughs> tell you every pod. I told but he tell you, tell you every pod. You are a prostitute. Me. Pay that man his just bread. To, just to talk about it. Yeah. Nigga, yes. I, I think I don't, I'm not I'm mad not at even, him. I'm not mad at him. I think that it's kind of corny for it to be him paid, saying it. No, nigga, get paid. Oh my fault. So, he don't. He don't so need the cool. money. It's not. It's principle. I'm not giving that to you niggas for free. Well, if it's I was humiliated on, in in front of the world. So you put you put a dollar on your principles. Yes. Okay. A lot of dollars on him. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? He keep telling you. He he telling you every, I stand in my truth. Every pod, yo. I can buy new principles with enough you, money. He can't wait to sell out. How are you going? I'm gone. <laughs> nah, I, I ain't mad at it. I mean, he could do what he do, but... Yeah, y'all got me I fucked up. But the crazier, so part is some, the crazier part is somebody's going to pay this. Of course, yes, that, nigga, yes. they're gonna get actually, the, actually, the more people that don't pay for it is gonna make it gonna make the worth go up. They running the paper this. Number. Right. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised that nigga on the cover of Time magazine. And I want uh, equity to give smack it, her around the world yeah. because yeah, the, like he could get into the deeper convos of where it started from, all things of, like mm, that. Like all of that. Yeah, nah, that's a and it might not be a bad investment. Whoever who you are pays for this, know they're getting their money back. 10 times. I understand why he smacked sure. me. I was a victim of trauma in my younger years, and it just. Yeah, that's or right. Or, 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 write a book. Or Rock. Do it. Stuff do, go that, next with it. You know, that's why like yeah. find something out that you ain't know yeah. about. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, go write a book. Chill, what the, Milk this shit now. I want to do a special. I know what's behind that. He's gonna do a special. He's speaking of books, y'all heard your man uh, Jesse is looking at a book deal now, so he can tell his story of what he went through. And Ra- round of. Well, this is going to be seven pages. Fuck him. <laughs> shit going to be 12 pages. I'm so sick of that. If I never about? hear another word, it's start with Jay. <laughs> Ten million. All right. Ten Jesse million. is fucking disgracing us all out here. Ten million And somebody dollars. needs to say it. A book deal? Ten mil. Like, this just show you... Oh, like he could come up with an bu- ill plot with his 10 mil. <laughs> hey, he got... Oh, you see the next one. He got yeah. two Nigerian brothers for the for the debut. His book... Oh, we could get... 2,500 or something. <laughs> yeah, nah, we got mad shit on deck now. It's disgusting, yo. Y'all, I just want to tell y'all, after last week's part of the show, I was trying to find something easy going and fun, but I'm reading this shit, and man, oh, man. Uh-oh. Some heavy shit in there? I'll just... Y'all just pick one. This is like therapy now, I guess. Dog, can I've go, been knowing... Can I ask a question before we... Like, you can ask whatever you want, sir. Don't ask no stupid shit about will we fuck shorty on a period. You be asking the wild. <laughs> I period. never ask no question. I think all my questions are <laughs> formidable Yo, questions. You and, and to answer that, yes. But go ahead, sir. No. <laughs> I, I normally have questions throughout the day, and I be one. I give feel like up. y'all are the best. Come on, give them up. Give them up. It's Let's not even it. nothing crazy. Let's hear it. If you could have one animal to, pre- to protect you, which animal would it be? A lion. I feel like yeah. that's the typical answer. I yeah. said a gorilla. 
Let's sure. Play. I told you that Atlanta weed is I. That nigga going. That nigga is going. It is not the worst weed. A gorilla seems like it'd be pretty cool to hang out with gorilla. too. Like. I feel like he's smart. Like I, this was a real debate. I, yeah. nigga, I who were you really debating this with? <laughs> Y'all bad rap with. niggas. And, 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 and. <laughs> Did they hit the Atlanta weed too? Yeah. This ain't Atlanta weed. We had a whole all, podcast teaching our brothers out there how they can maybe get to five hundred million, and here you come right in with the hot shit. <laughs> Bro, I asked a question. I just want to know what animal. Somebody else said a, a kangaroo. I heard a ball eagle. I just want to know who's gonna get it done. Right, beat a kangaroo. I'm not doing that. <laughs> a kangaroo can't get it done. <laughs> nah, nah. You could beat the kangaroo, nigga. Yeah. All you gotta yeah. do is slip the kick. Yeah, once you slip the kick, you get money. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they strong, right? There was a little clip right. on the internet that running around. That nigga beat the shit on, out of the kangaroo over his dog. Give him was, a little headlock. It was a little clip right. running around on Instagram of uh, a man in another country. I don't know what the country saw, so I won't say, but they said he just fought a lion and won. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Someone sent me that. He cut it up and boiled that nigga in his soup. <laughs> Yeah. But he was fucked up. He was it. fucked up. I, he was I, fucked up. I, I, I gotta see it. Nah, he was fucked up. They lied, though. They yeah. still lied. They it was lied. a baby lion. It was like what? Like <laughs> a fucking <laughs> dog? Baby lion. It was it's a no fucking grown, a a newborn. It was Simba. It was Simba. It was no. It was right. Younger than Simba. It was a newborn. <laughs> fresh <laughs> out the, fresh <laughs> out the box. <laughs> Ain't he had no teeth yet. The lion was trying to gum you. Yo, speaking of animals, right? Wait. You seen a lion, my nigga? Ice. Could you answer my question? I don't like animals. Surf, no. I can't even answer that. <laughs> can't Corso something? Like, no, you it's, like o- it's, o- o- it's over. No. It's over, man. Thank you, Parks. Yeah, man. I'm here Thank for you. you. I'm on a gorilla. Gorilla? I, don't think I so. like the gorilla. I don't care about this side of the room sometimes either. All right? <laughs> the fuck? With one relationship change, uh-huh. Carol Baskin has a whole new show on Hulu. She does. <laughs> nah, Peacock. <laughs> Peacock. Maybe Hulu too, actually. They're everywhere. <laughs> hey. She got rid of her ops. He's never coming nah. home. Her He's business is thriving, home. and nobody's asking her about the niggas she killed with the tiger. Jesus. Clap, clap, Round up. Up, man. Come on, that, that, come that's on. Part of the part of the, the come contract. on, man. Yo, you can't ask me this. That's what that is, man. They don't even know. That Carol Baskins. All right, listen. You got proof. Listen, y'all. Tell me which way you want to go. I'll read to. It's a guy and a girl. Okay. I'll start with the guy. I've been knowing this girl for about 10 years now, and we just started taking each other seriously and dating. Mm -hmm. Been there before. That's pretty funny. In the past, I had a girlfriend who she had a rift with. Uh Uh-oh. And although me and her are no longer together, she can't get past the fact that we're still friends. Mm. Like, whenever my ex comes up, she loses it. I don't know why, because she holds a vital place in my life as my girlfriend. And my ex can't hold a candle to her or tie her shoes. Uh, I see you put on the sauce. I like that. She listens to me. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Smart guy. (laughs) Smart guy. I I view it as insecurity, but she tells me I'm insensitive. How do I navigate that and make her see that she shouldn't be worried about my ex? I had a quick answer for him. Let me read you the next one. (laughs) I've been in a relationship with the same man for 16 years. I've been through it with him. He's cheated, had problems with addiction, and has overcame it and extremely all about health and wellness now. I got on board with him because he told me the ultimatum. Oh, here we go. He told me the ultimatum would be get on board, get healthy, lose weight, and get fit, Sweet or man. we should break up. I complied, and I'm still progressing. The last pod, y'all talked about men getting comfortable with sex positions. In the last six months, I've asked him to start foreplaying with me. He thinks that means just sensually kissing. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah, round of applause for him, man. Yeah, yeah, that's slow that is. Slower kisses. <laughs> Slow kisses. Slower kisses. Purple kisses. This, this man went out and changed this woman's life for the better. He thinks that just means sensually kissing. I've told him I want toys, ass slaps, a little choking here and there. She cheated. And he's been lacking because he doesn't feel comfortable <laughs> doing this to. shit. And now I'm horny and not satisfied. Should I should I threaten that I'm gonna look for dick elsewhere? She's already been doing that. Or what? We could go there. You want to call? Y'all want to call this young lady? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can go ahead and call her because she clearly he, she got in shape, getting uh-huh. a little bit more attention. Yo, I did exactly what you wanted. I'm get, vegan. I don't even like get, rice get, cakes. Get the button she, ready. She doing all types of stuff. <laughs> it's not that. No, that, that life is that that's life not it. Down. It ain't about you know what it is, right? Yeah, it, it, what? She got some new sausage. It's like that. What you got? Nah, she's at that point she though. A b- she's at the tipping point. 
I'm going to call her again. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, right back. I think he's not doing what he got to do. At <laughs> Listen, can I share a story before I call her? Yeah, what's up? Uh, somebody told me to fuck him in the mouth the other day, and I was like, that takes a lot of work. You no, want, that much you want yeah, a lady, like, huh? I get up, straddle you, get to gyrating my hips like I'm not 40. I ain't been doing the steps with Corey in the morning. I don't feel like getting up there and doing all that. You can do it. Part it, of, the head, part of, the part of getting ahead is you you take control. Nah, you, I see yeah. how someone would call that lazy. That's but lazy. I want I want premium head. I don't want the head where I got to get up there and get to doing it. Now your teeth is at an odd angle with the dick. That now it's true. like, yeah, that's true. That's come true. on, now the, the helmet. The fucking the face is uh, an overrated. Uh, no, it's it's, a, it's up it? there with the 69 no. for me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's not. No, it's not. What's wrong what? with you niggas? No, yes, it is. Y'all have the floor. First off, the way there's other ways to do that without no, like, it's in the, the position things. you're naming. I'm naming the position I'm naming face because of the situation that I was in where Shorty just got some work done, can't really move, but she wants to suck some dick. Oh, that's a little different. So Face now you can only do this. So I'll, I'll wait till you recover, ma. <laughs> no, no, no. Or you could just lay on your side, Look and I'm gonna get this motherfucker. To you. <laughs> you ain't got to move too much. I'm calling. Just girl. lay on your little side. Sir, if you 27, so you supposed to be with all that fuck yeah, shit. Right. Be like yeah, at my age, you ain't gonna be yeah. with all that. I don't yo. think you like requested. Like yo, let me just. But it happens in the midst. So you at the age where you be requesting stuff still too. The 69 just shit. happens. No, the 69. No, we don't. No, we not. We're not talking about the 69. Uh, we're talking about face fucking. Face fucking just, just happens. That's requested. It just, yeah, it just happens while she goes down. Yeah, yeah. You I get, get a little excited. Yeah. Not me go up there and get the pumping. That's true. Yeah, it's just and your it's teeth just, do be at the. She's got to be a very, very professional. Uh, you yeah. know, what I mean, professional. They, they don't be. They don't be. No, they don't. Back to Cam Newton. Learn how to treat a man. <laughs> Learn how to treat a man. You know, how to suck dick or not. Hide your teeth. That sounds horrible. Professional people listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take them. <laughs> Let me call this girl Duck back. Let me call this girl. See what's going on. Get a mouth on. guard. Yeah. Well, got me. What's Lion, her name? Lionessa. She Shut sound up. like she could make a good. Uh, why you always look at me, yo? That's her name? I don't know. I'm left-handed, so I naturally look this way. <laughs> no, when I want to look more at ice, too. girls, you always look over here. Hello? Hello? Hi, miss. Speak to Lionessa, please. Lionessa. <laughs> this is she. Y'all don't give nobody heads up. Nah, we don't do that. We real I niggas. Got, I got a nine-to-five job. We get the head. We don't get a heads up. Boy, we don't do that. We niggas that please they ladies, so we walk around <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we walk around like we please our ladies. Call whenever you we want. Huh? You shitting oh, me? God. Lionessa. What's good? B- without speaking to you, we tried to unpack this. We all think that you're already cheating on this nigga. No, I'm not. What'd you say? I said, I'm not, but I have considered it. Plenty of times. So plenty? <laughs> Wait. She got plenty. one foot out the door. Wait, where you live at? I curve everybody. I live in the Bay Area. Mm. It's nice out there. It is mm. nice out there. So, you know, you know you'll know, you be seeing me when you come down here. You mm. coming to Oakland? To Oakland. Mm. I got front row seats. Definitely coming mm. that way, even if oh, that's your chance to come. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, have you expressed to this man... Uh, in a delicate way, how unhappy you are sexually, and that sensual kissing is not—that's not enough. That the limit to foreplay. Yeah, I've been so I've been with him for fifteen years, well, sixteen years, mm. and I've said it plenty of times, and um, it's just redundant that I have to completely repeat myself over and over again. You don't like y'all just pull my hair a little bit, smack my ass a little bit. Just a can, yo, can, can, can I, so he ain't doing it. Wait, you got ass? <laughs> not not. Shut the fuck up. I, I'm cool. I'm all right. I don't got Joe nah. Budden type of female asses, but, you know, I got an ass. I got a little something. Look, I, I just want to know, was he doing any of this before and stopped doing it, or was he never doing this? No, he was never doing this. And that's uh, the thing. He says uh, that. He wasn't really, Let me ask you, know, you a question. He was a light bloomer. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How, if he's never done this, and it's been 16 years, and you never cheated, mm-hmm. How you know you want your hair pulled and your ass smacked if you never had it? Because it got to a point where I started watching like porn uh, by myself. Uh, you think that's so, real? Uh, me and 
me watching that, I got curious about it. And I just, you know, that's and side, that's basically what I do. That Roscoe is, made you, know? you more curious. Curiosity than... killing that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's his name, Curiosity. <laughs> Mr. Curiosity. I'm still, pr- I'm still pretty alive. It's not, it's so not why, dead. So why you don't watch it's the like porn with your, with your significant other and maybe try to usher it into the bedroom? I always feel way. like that's a good icebreaker. Well, because some men, some men don't like their women looking at other men that have big that's what I find. Oh, and I feel like oh, that's now probably we unbi- Now we unpackaging why. other packaging yep. right now. Pause. <laughs> well, I mean, I, now man, we unpackaging Lion other packaging. sound like the name that would tell me that. <laughs> wait, wait. Lionessa, you can't say that. Yo, let me ask you a question. Can you bleep that part out? Sure. Uh, he watches. <laughs> I guess. He watches. Li- Lion- Lionessa. What's up? Do you feel like he's sexually attracted to you? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. Like, I, I give him a little, like, hug, and he's already hard. He's always but he's like always this. been sexually attractive to me. I just feel like he's uncomfortable doing new things because I have to tell him what to do. See, it's like physics. It's like, like math, it. line. That's the sort of, like, you add in that. He does get horny. When like you, if he's turned on, yeah, but, but it's he, the he might not hard. be. Yeah, he might it's not be. He hard, might not just yeah. be capable, Miss Lion. Let me, oh Lionessa. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You you started off by saying that he had some issues, several issues. Mad issues. Yep. You stuck. Oh by, yeah. You stuck by him through his downtime, and then he started to make demands upon you, saying that you have to lose weight or he's leaving. Yep. Right. And And I told him, like, I mean, honestly, we've never, you know, I'm not a man, so I don't know. He's not really much of a talker. I try to dig deeper, um, but it came down to like, hey, you know, I want to live sober. I want to work out. I want you to work out with me. I want us to lose weight. I want us to be in shape. And, you know, I did it for him. Body journey. Miss (laughs) Miss Lionessa, do you consider Do you consider yourself? Overweight? No, I don't think so. I always feel like I can always by the doctor a little bit more. By the doctor's standards, are you underweight? Over, over, oh, overweight, yeah. overweight. Excuse I'm me, five, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm five. I'm five three, and I weigh hundred and fifty eight pounds. Oh yeah, that so, might the dynamics yes, might be United off a little States, bit, just I'm a little bit. Fucking, Un poquito. Yeah, I'm basically there. But you're not big. You though. five three, one fifty three with no ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's yes, yo, I got some titties, though. Oh, well, that, that'll do. That'll, 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 that'll help out. Oh, man. That's his, that's his favorite part of my body is so, my titties. So. So, oh, so, oh. So, the, so, okay, my last question. So, um, <laughs> for 16 years, if like if this is repetitive, because repetitive, you know, weekly repetitive or monthly repetitive is kind of different than and yearly. yearly repetitive. So, within these 16 years, why have, like, what is the underlying reason of why you didn't? Try to like get skin. I personally think he's insecure. I think he feels like way. No, why I mean, didn't you? No, you like, want to know why enough. didn't you cheat? Sixteen years is that's a long time of repetitive. You know, well, well, like, well, we had our breaks in between, and that's when you got your hair pulled, and that's when the hair got pulled. Tell me, that's when the hair got pulled. Tell me, I was right. Look, you cheating? You cheating? Talking about you got it off a porn? You got it off a pole. <laughs> told you what happened. And now we're back fighting when we had a break. Sometimes. When is y'all next break schedule for? <laughs> are, you, are you guys going to break up? You looking for the, the end of next month? About the end of... Uh, <laughs> May 29th? Hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> nah, niggas is out there. You said May 29th? <laughs> yeah. That Yo, sounds like a... So now, this is the truth. Oh, you coming to Oakland. It's over for you. That All the bitches going to be jumping on Joe. And Joe ain't got enough dick for everybody. <laughs> it's Joe, nigga. Beat that up. Beat that up. My fault. It's Joe. It's Joe having any dick for anybody. No, I'm just saying, like. Damn, nigga. I'm saying, it's bad. Oh, you saw that picture too, huh? <laughs> Pause, bro. What I'm saying is, it's gonna be a lot of women there. You feel me? No, nah, I'm taking a date. You taking a Wait, date? Is boy. it gonna be him? No. Oh, no, shit. Hey, Lionessa, you no, no, lying no, no, now, Nessa. Yo, I'm, you. I'm just fucking with y'all. No, I'm taking nah. my, my. You my really should come, though, Lionessa. You, 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 your home? cousin's a guy? Yeah, he's a guy. He's you got, coming a, with you me. got girl cousins? Is he really your yeah, cousin? Yeah, I got girl cousins. What you need? 
Oh, I don't need anything, but you, you know you got girl cousins. <laughs> You're lying, so you trying to get niggas caught up on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how old are you? I'm 34. Oh, niggas is out there, yo. Yo, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, right? <laughs> yeah. Niggas is dead. What, what, what you do? Evidently, you learned all the new tricks when y'all broke up. Yo, ish, boys want to do therapy. Now I'm asking a question. Why you don't just tell your dude, y'all, I like this and I like this and I like this? No, because she trying to get some real dick. She ain't trying to fucking look, do a look. PowerPoint no, presentation, this nigga. I do, but he gets hella insecure. Like, oh, is that the type of shit you want? I'm like, all right. Yeah. 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 Yes. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, I say yeah, but I'm like, all right, fuck it. Just give me some head then. And then it's there. It's done. Why you guys say fuck it? Give me some head. Like, that ain't, that don't come with the setup? Because I don't like confrontation. I don't like fighting with nobody about That's supposed to come with the bare minimum setup. You don't want no new shit? Like, that you're not doing? Because maybe he's beefing with you on that level. I can't. I can't even hear you, Parks. You're too far. Get closer. I said, I said he, does he ever ask for some new shit that you're not doing? Oh. He asked me to give him more head, and then I do do it. So oh, okay. that's about yeah, it. Yeah, but you, you don't sound happy like, about I'm it. A, I'm yeah. the one that wants to tap into the freakiness. You think he, don't. he like? You I think don't know. He, you ain't eating that middle piece. <laughs> I think. Do I think yeah. what? what? The middle part? <laughs> the gooch. You gotta. Gooch. Get, you gotta get that middle piece. The gooch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think duh. he want more hair from you than he want bottom? Duh. <laughs> duh. 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 Lionessa? What's up? Do you think he values your oral sex more than he values your vagina? <laughs> Yo, shut up. No, no. She no, said he no, like no, her no. head. I'm asking, do he like her head? I, mean, I, like I don't pussy? know. That's a question I'm going to ask. I feel like we always do um, all three, like head, missionary, and doggy. Are you, bi- are you mean, bisexual? That's... All three. No, I don't like bitches. Okay. Nah, uh, I'm good. Hey, yo, y- y'all just cool. Yeah, y'all I mean, I would, go, I would go look at them. They're beautiful. Yeah, y'all just cool. Can I get a, um, um, over or under three times? How many times have you guys been off and on in this 16-year uh, situation? I would say a solid three times, and the longest was like a year. Oh, oh that's mad that. So we're going to have our director time. of communication reach out to you <laughs> via, via text before the uh, Oakland show. I got just... the meet and greet. I get to take pictures with you. Oh, so. it's lit. It's a wrap. Hey. So there you go. Hey. <laughs> what, what are you? <laughs> meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> yo, why you so horny, yo? <laughs> I just <laughs> you hear this nigga. You change your letter in the meeting, Wallace. <laughs> you change right. your letter in the meeting. L- Lioness, don't come to the meeting and greet with your little nigga, uh, your nigga cousin. <laughs> that ain't her cousin. We don't want to meet no, your nigga cousin. Oh. <laughs> oh, that ain't your cousin. Her cousin. Yeah, get your cousin, Janet Mish. Her dude listens. That's her cousin she's going with. Okay, well, her cousin put her on. So we appreciate the cousin. And we appreciate you, Lioness. So we hope that you're. Private life gets better somehow. <laughs> I'll let y'all know if it works. Put some porn yeah. on in the bedroom, man. Might get him going. He's gonna now have to do shit. So nah, he got to do something. He got. He got to do something. <laughs> yeah, find some little dick. For I'm about to say, yeah, you got you to find another caption. You got a little dick. You got a little me. Yeah, you got a little me. Don't tell me. I don't want to know how big his dick is. She keep talking about his... Can y'all his... auto-tune my voice? Can you guys auto-tune no, my voice? No, no. Can we auto-tune no. your voice? You keep no. talking. I don't know how. You Go keep talking about his penis videos envy. and typing up media okay. media meat mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, Lionessa, do you watch the show Ultimatum on Netflix? Uh, no, I don't. She would leave the nigga. Yeah, you'll oh, you leave that nigga. She's what's, what's going on? Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. you should you, you should, you should watch, watch it. it. It's you, good. You'll leave that nigga. You would definitely okay. leave that nigga. Got a little meat. Oh yeah, just the Ultimatum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just finished watching it. Mm. It's where they're um they're giving them ultimatum or they walk away, right? Mm-hmm. You didn't watch it oh, with, yeah. with him, did you? Watching that shit this weekend. You didn't watch it with your boyfriend, did you? <laughs> That's who I watch it with. <laughs> mm. You gave him an ultimatum. She you just smacked me and choked me. She's, she's in there abusing him. She got his mom men- mentally though. She's, she's throwing his little dick in his face. He's mentally mm-hmm. fucked up. <laughs> Lioness, we gotta oh, go. She's giving him small portions Bye. of food, small I, shit, everything. Yeah. She got. She's giving him all, yeah. all signs. Lioness, we will see you in Oakland. You and your nigga uh, cousin. All right. Y'all good. Have a, nice day. Have a good Same one. Thank to you. Hey. Be Later. Bye. Round of applause for Lionessa, man. Lionessa was up there lying. That's a lion like shit. <laughs> lying I told y'all from the rip. I never, no, I never, no, nah, no. Nah. I saw, I watched it on porn. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lena, I hear you. Is she a lion right there? Who? Oh. <laughs> what are you nuts. looking at, bro? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so um, look, all right, look, look, look. What? So look. A, wait, a cock cake. Er, yeah, so surf. I forgot we don't care about the cock cake. I promise you. Tell us on, on Patreon. Is she? 
So if y'all in a if, you're if she's in a, sucking a cock on if a you're cake. in a relationship with a woman and no, she has sir. a friend, she, no, chill that's it. serious. No, I, Damn, I don't care no. about that. No, you like, can't suck a I, cock, can't a cake. You can't go and be fuck, in a relationship. You can't go to uh, sip and paint where the niggas is naked fucking you. You can't fucking <laughs> go uh, get the private massage where they the got nigga got his dick paint. out and you dick jerking and him off yeah, during yeah, the yeah, massage. Yeah, about, that's weird. They, they got, got dip, what you they got dick and paint. They got dick and paint. Sip and dick and paint. It's all three. It's dick and paint. See, y'all know some other shit. I'm yeah, just talking about a New girl at a birthday party. And the with cake her own is the shape of a cock. All right, and her I got, friends I got, don't got worry about it. Yeah, he's talking it. about Thank dick you. and sip Thank and paint. Don't worry. I got it right now. I got. Appreciate we got to sleep it somewhere. Thank you. Why? Don't worry. We got to sleep it. <laughs> somebody, somebody <laughs> somewhere oh got to sleep it. I'm going to find one. <laughs> I'm going to find one right now. Don't you worry Get about it. Get us out of that, please. How does surf think of this stuff? We're out of here. We're out of here. Because I seen it on my Twitter. Playoff basketball is here. Finally. It's here. Finally. And we got what the play ins are tonight. Play ins tonight. And first game is uh, Atlanta. No, Brooklyn, no. And, Brooklyn and Cleveland. Brooklyn yes. Cleveland. And we got a game in the West. Yeah. All right, I'm just ask y'all straight up. Who, who, who y'all got coming out of the East and who y'all got coming out of the West? Phoenix, Milwaukee. Phoenix, Milwaukee. Yeah. Ish? <sighs> Memphis. Miami. Memphis, Miami. Okay, sir. Memphis, Milwaukee. And Joe. Mm. Uh, Brooklyn, Phoenix, or Brooklyn, mm. Golden State. I have to check on their health. Golden State was my pick. Ben is playing. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't, don't believe in Milwaukee. I don't believe in Philly. Chicago is new. I think Atlanta will win their playing game, but I prefer to see Charlotte in. I would agree with Cle- uh, Ish about Cleveland, but they're not at 100%. I got Brooklyn beating them. And I don't really care about Denver in the West. You don't like, well, why am I saying you don't like Miami? Mm, I don't care about them. I think I think um, all of the all the teams in the East look dangerous to me. I think that four or five the Bucks uh, Bulls matchup is yeah, a nice first Chicago round matchup. It's still nice to see in the three, first six. No, I'm just yeah, saying three, Chicago three, is six. healthy. Yeah, three, six, that would be a great matchup. Mm-hmm. I that, want uh, you know I'm a Sixer fan. I would love to see it. I I don't know. I'm rooting for Brooklyn because New York, but we'll see. I don't know. I think I might have Milwaukee and in Memphis. I'm picking Brooklyn because at the eight seed, I think they'll easily take care of the number one seed, which is Miami. And now you take their matchups going all the way. So now you have the matchups of the number one. I just they got to play a lot of bet. Well, lot if they win, basketball. they go. If they win, they go to Boston. Great. <laughs> they don't even be Boston. They won't be Miami. But I think these playoffs might give us what the football playoffs gave us. Could be just great series all the way through. The football playoffs were amazing. That's the best playoffs that damn near I've ever seen. I think these basketball playoffs could be equally as exciting. Well, that's what they want. I think mm-hmm. so. Figure that. So we'll we'll keep watch on all of this and good luck to everybody in there. Get, come on, Joe, get us and, out of here. Shout out to all of y'all that have teams playing in the playoffs <laughs> as a Nick fan. I'm excited that we're guaranteed a top twelve pick in the draft. That should be helpful. I thought we had strayed away from being hopeful about the draft, but not this year. Not this year. Shout out to Nick fans, man. Shout out, to Lakers, shout out to Lakers fans, too. We'll be back. Shout out to the Lakers as well. Frank Vogel is out of here. Real unclassy way to get rid of a coach. For real. Leak it to the news first. Why this <laughs> nigga damn near was still on the court. <laughs> they was asking him about it in the postgame. He's like, nah, they ain't told me that yet. Well, well, yeah, we know. You check your Twitter. <laughs> they, they telling you on Twitter, Frank Vogel. Yeah, that was wild. Uh... Ice ran from his Atlanta take. We'll save it for Patreon. Yeah. You were scared. I got to go to Atlanta. Might have been a little scared. Well, I'm, playing. The show. I'm playing. I'm playing. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it on Patreon. We'll get into that, man. Listen, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. <laughs> I forgot one, but it's fine. So long. Goodbye. Life is a sucker. Adios. Adios. Yeah, adios. 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 A what? Wait, huh? what the fuck? <laughs> Listen, life Ciao. is a series of moments. Chow and Ciao. moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. <laughs> Lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. When the closed minded women want you to teach them things, grab a Tylenol, enjoy your headache. Again, rest in peace to Gilbert Gottfried, mm-hmm. uh, Dwayne, Dwayne Haskins. Haskins. Uh, thoughts, prayers, love, condolences to their friends, family. Loved ones, fans, organization, co-workers. And we going, man. Y'all hold it down. We got good weather. New York, head on a swivel. Please be safe. Please be safe. Word up. Please be safe. New York is New Yorking out there. It go.
<laughs> that little bony nigga. Y'all hold it down out there, man. Do the fourth uh, lion. The fourth the lion. Y'all hold it down. We'll be back this weekend, Saturday, same time, same place. You know the vibes. No, 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 no,